Okay, so last time that you guys played, you guys had made your way across the rope bridge yep. up to the entrance of the Goblin Thistletop Fort, which is right here. So we were coming. Yeah, so the bridge would be right here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, and so you guys came in. Uh, you guys had a little bit of a skirmish here at the doorway. There was a bunch of goblins with their goblin dogs, and you guys were able to break your way in, fight your way in. And they ran out like... Yeah, so and then most of the goblin warriors... Those are the little negative level negative one guys. They ran off into the um, where's Lucky? Oh, here he is. Oh, they ran off into the dungeons. Now one of them ran down this corridor here. Yep. <laughs> every time. Every, I did that one for Matt. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, R Rory. Do you want to uh, give us oh, a yeah. beer of the week? Hey. Yep. Our beer of the week is a new Belgium beer called Higher Plains to fight those abysmal scum we'll be encountering later on. 8.5 alcohol. I did not by see the value. percentage. <laughs> yeah, it's an imperial, uh, an imperial a, IPA. A hazy imperial IPA. Because this guy I gotta is figure hazy. Out what, I got to figure out what hazy means. Well, as I think far it means that we get to go to the higher plane. Marijuana mm. bud he's holding in his hand. <laughs> yeah. And uh, at Voodoo Ranger, so Adam one time. Maybe you'll get a beer. I don't know. I've had New Belgium <laughs> before. I like, I like them. That's the company, New Belgium? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's so much. I don't know if they're actually in Belgium. I don't know if it's an import. There's a lot of lot going on, so I didn't know if it was from Voodoo Ranger or New Belgium or well, higher. Oh plane. wait, I, I think, think I, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm absolutely wrong. I think you New think Belgium. I I is think a type of beer, right? But then why is it an IPA? A hazy IPA? Because IPA no, is a this type, is New Belgium. Is that the brand? That's that's the, it's it's canned by New Belgium Brewing. So who the fuck is uh, Voodoo Ranger? I think that's the name of the beer. And the type of beer is a hazy imperial ale. No, ha hazy imperial ale is definitely the type of beer. Right? Yeah. I think it's called Voodoo Ranger, and it's a higher plane IPA, meaning hazy imperial IPA. So the type of beer is higher plane IPA, hazy, hazy imperial, imperial IPA, or hazy whatever. Beer. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just think higher plane's cool, and Voodoo Ranger is a little D&D &D type of thing. Sure. So I think uh, excellent choice. It is... Um, it's not as tasty as the ones we've had, but... Um, oh, I like it. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is more up your alley. I, I, just I mean, how are you with this? Because you're more of a Bud Light guy. It's almost on par with what you had. Uh, maybe just a little less kick the, last the, week. The purple people eater or whatever yeah. that was. Uh, I, I kind of... I do I do like that can, though. I don't love this one. Yeah. It's a little. It's almost a little too hoppy. A little too bitter. This is Matt's type of beer. I mean, it's my type of beer. Hops. It's my it's my type of beer, too. The purple uh, people eat The Jackie O Mystic Mama. <laughs> the Jackie O Mystic Mama. See, With was, a hell of a can. That's dry hopped, so maybe the yeah, difference is the show, dryness. Show, oh, you know what? It won't matter because the focal plane's probably way off on that. <laughs> the dry hop. Yeah, I, I know dry hopping. I don't know what I don't know what it means to make something uh, hazy. I think the better, if you'd have put it in just in front of your camera, Matt, that would have been the best maybe view. I'll just, maybe I'll make like some eggnog. Well, and you're bringing whiskey next week or bringing stuff? What do you want me to bring? Well, I don't We can. We can okay, do, you just tell me what you need me to bring. Right. I got some extra stuff at the house. I don't really drink as much anymore these days. Right. So I don't mind contributing to Rory. And I mean, half this is my family coming to play. <laughs> um, so you guys, uh, like I said, you guys made your way in. Uh, you kind of then you fought the guys here. Yes. And then they kind of ran away. You guys followed them down this corridor yep. and they were laying in wait for you. And so then they, uh, this is where and Matt- we got to see Burl in Matt, combat. Yeah, Matt won initiative. <laughs> Burl ran up, burning hands, killed like three or four killed people guy. in oh, yeah. this uh, in this watchtower here. And then uh, that then like some of the, the other guys in here ran away as well. And that's when you heard from deep in the compound, Chief Rip Nugget gave his uh, ultimatum. So we'll just say that you guys are kind of regrouped here in this large entry chamber. I notice your blood magic gets more crazy the deeper we get. <laughs> and- mm. uh, and you guys can kind of tell me where you guys want to go next and what you want to do. Well, we were yelling at Rip Nugget, right? Yeah, you were mocking him. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know why we like would not a continue. Rip Nugget in here. Oh, hey. -o. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if you wanted to explore the rest of the compound first, or if you. Oh, because he ain't coming after us. He, he's beating no, us. He's he somewhere. Was, he the... was saying like, well, one of his underlings must have run back, so he knows you're here, and mm -hmm. he's basically like, "Come and face me, heroes! If you're so brave, what? oh, you're so-called saviors of Sandpoint, mm -hmm. huh? You're lucky I wasn't there. Me and Stickfoot would have given you one four. Stickfoot, huh? That's, that's the name of his gecko. Hmm. Now, so he obviously knows we're here. We can uh, explore the, you know, maybe other places uh, here to see if there's something worth, uh, you know, that may help us with our our conquest here. 
Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, I do we we know he's this way. Uh, well, that's where we were yelling at him from. We don't Does know his voice exactly. Echo or can we get a, a like a, a gauge? Uh, of words? You can make a perception check, Gore. Uh, That's, uh, uh, Derek, we also need 16. a dice cam. Yeah, we need to get a dice cam. Uh, who, oh, who was saying it? Uh, oh, Aaron was saying. Oh, I told Aaron finally and Tim to pitch the idea of them watching doing the wild, yeah. wild, wild work. And they were like, oh, you need a dice cam. For sure. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be I, like I actually a, think that the way the channel could improve would be more of, of just you doing even D&D stuff. Because when you have other content and you become a, a focal figure, sure. people well, watch your feed. For, for the five <laughs> of you that are watching this, you, leave a comment below. Yeah. Tell us what we should be doing differently. How can Derek like, improve? Because you know we yeah. we got it. I gave a thirty <laughs> I gave a thirty minute history lesson of Dungeons and Dragons to Matt before you guys got here. Oh, it was fun. You should have recorded it, it and put it up online <laughs> because but, people want that stuff and they, yeah. if they like you. They'll watch your and, feed. And all kidding aside, like if you if you took the time to with you know people set up with cameras and lighting and you were talking through that kind of stuff, just like rambling through your history of shit uh, with how it pertains to D&D's history. Like, yeah. I, I was fascinated for a half hour. I'm sure that, you know, yeah. other I, people I, I, and, Matt's like, and Matt's like, and I wasn't really even that fascinated. So can yeah. you imagine if you were really into this? Well, that's, uh, that's the thing. If people like Derek... That, sure. That's what I'm noticing that, about. That's a big if. Well, that's a big if. The, like, what me, I, I don't know is, anything. So when you're saying stuff, I'm just like, wow. Yeah. But it's just interesting yeah. hearing like, well, here's what they were doing in first edition. Here's what they like. Here were the problems that they had. And they're like, they went to second sure. edition, tried this. So the guy's feed I just started watching, He, I think he's an excellent DM. I started watching because he was doing other stuff. And he was really interesting to listen to. All right. And then I watch his feed. I think that's how you can get... Well, Let, let's ten get, more followers. Noted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noted, <laughs> noted. Well, let's, let's get... You know, for the people at home, let's get on to it. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so... You guys have invaded Thistle Top's top level, this sort of crude goblin fort, uh, which strangely looks like it's made of stone, but it's not. Um, a variety of doors lead off into the uh, fortress, and from deep within, what'd you get on that perception? 16. From further in, uh, you would guess probably that large back room there. Okay. That we don't um, know about. <laughs> Rip Nugget uh, awaits. If we were to walk north in any direction, we'd... Right, and remember that while Rip Nugget may be your... Uh, target of choice what ultimately Burl's target of choice <laughs> but remember he is but a, a lackey right he may mm -hmm. be the chief of a goblin tribe but remember all the goblin tribes were serving Nualia yeah. mm -hmm. and her crew of flunkies so uh <laughs> it's a good point. ultimately flunkies. what you want to find are you know the dungeons below this which goes into the head island and find the the, the, the true, real the real the real team. threat yeah, yeah. Well, I think, uh, I mean, if we, we want to head a whip around towards uh, the watchtower to the uh, west there, or maybe sneak in through yep, there yep. Uh, and explore what I assume to be a large room, but I okay. can't tell yet. Okay. But, yeah. but not me. I meant someone else. Um, Let's let the dice decide. Cool. <laughs> no, no. I, well, no, I, I actually think uh, Vilik, who is our... Um, Pseudo ranger. Well, he's yep. the... Well, he's got the, I think, the best at detecting traps. Right. Well, uh, detecting traps is uh, perception based, and I think he's got a terrible wisdom. Oh, it's just perception based. Yep. Okay, picking locks. Plus, he's got plus eight, the baby. picking locks you could thing. The traps. I have a I have an eight perception. Um, yeah. you have an eight, and what do you have? Eight. Okay, so I think either me, you can move that around. Yeah, me. Yeah, I me, tried. I was. There you go. Me, me, and Gore are the ones that should be checking this door out. So Ooh. I, I'll go up. Further. Like if you need to go this way, yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, get it, get it to a point where it's all right. So you know, I, hey felt yo. bad. I felt bad. He Are we like, still on camera? He was hey. like, hey. now that we're standing. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Like I get top. scared it's gonna okay. fall down. Can you, can you turn off the, I don't think there's any uh, sound the coming through the stream though. What's up? Oh, there's a sound coming through the stream. There is no sound. I don't hear anything. Yeah, there shouldn't be because you're just talking to us. There's nothing to be heard, Danny. Oh, so if people want to watch, they have no idea what's going on. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. It, this, it will, it, this is just for you, I mean, and I another have, way to record, I have, I have, testing I have, stuff. I have zero followers. No one no, is no, watching. No, no, you have one. Danny's watching. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if my phone still is. 
So uh, it's just to test out some new capabilities. You know, could, could we in the future do Twitch streaming? You know, could this be a possibility? This sure. is what things that I'll Derek's like. I'll throw you my free Prime subscription every three months. <laughs> I, I'm not qualified for oh, that. You got to have like a thousand oh, subs. And, and, All right. And so, anyways. So Gore and the followed by the party. Yep. So as you guys move into the dungeon, that means we're in exploration mode. Yes. So uh, remember when you're in exploration mode, there are sort of some actions you can take. Basically, you know, you're walking around, you're being cautious, you're being careful, but what are you specifically doing while you're moving so around? So I'm seeking. Right. You cannot seek. Uh, searching, searching. Yeah, That's yeah. what I meant. Sorry, searching yeah. and scout. Scouting is another right. good one that we do because you're basically always seeking. Yeah, right? I'm searching. Yeah. So when you're searching, that means that you're basically trying to uh, keep an eye out for secret doors, yes. hidden passages, traps. Traps is the one I'm worried about the okay. most right now. Great. But we are um, in a foreign territory. Right. So you're going to be looking for hidden doors and hazards. Yes. What about Burl? Uh, also search, I suppose. Okay. Know. Great. Gore. I'm going to scout with my sword two handed. Okay, great. And so that's going to give everyone a plus one bonus to initiative. And then, uh, Vilik, what I would recommend you do, actually, uh, this is one of those. Well, so this is one of those Pathfinder things. One of the things that you can do, Vilik, is since as long as you're not doing anything else to help the party, you can avoid notice. One of the things you can do when oh. you're moving around the dungeon is you can just try to be quiet and sneaky. sneaky. Hiding in the shadows. But oh. one of the cool things about this, Villic, is if you are avoiding notice, when combat breaks out, you don't roll your initiative with perception. You'll roll your initiative with your stealth instead. And I'm going to guess that your stealth is a lot better than your perception. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So basically... You, as long as you avoid notice. Now, you you know, you can't be looking for traps. You can't be doing this stuff because you're kind of focusing on being sneaky and sticking to the shadows. You know, if you can think of it as like, you know, the party's moving down the corridor. You know, Villic is kind of like sticking to the shadows, kind of quickly, you know, yeah, sp you know, yeah, Metal Gear soliding against the wall, you know, occasionally, Splinter, uh, occasionally busting out of like a cardboard box. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that noise? Um, I just imagine like. Insert solid snake sound. Yeah. Here. yeah. Snake, yeah. <laughs> like what's the. Metal uh, Gear. Things from Star Wars Splinter. with Splinter the, just the two eyes. Um, the, the Grievous? Little, no, the little. Uh, Jawa? Oh, Jawa. Yeah. Jawas? Yeah, Jawas. I just imagine like every once in a while I look over and there's like these two eyes. Yeah, 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 exactly. He's just like <laughs> burning just, out of the shadow. You know, yeah. he's, he's this little goblin guy and he's just kind of creeping around. And so Villic, that'll be, make, give you a better chance of going first in a combat uh, because you're avoiding notice. And, and then also flat footed. Like also that kind because, of benefit, yeah. um, sort of. Uh, so if I were to follow expert while he was yeah. avoiding notice, would that? Yeah, so the way follow kinda, expert works is yeah. you get, if someone else is doing something that involves a skill, mm -hmm. like being stealthy, uh, presumably you're pretty shitty at stealthy, but <laughs> Bill looks really good at it. So when you follow expert, oh. you get like part of his benefit. Okay. You get you're following his lead. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. following his lead. It's not, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. It's, it's better than your shitty stuff. It's better than your shitty stuff. 479. I don't know if you printed it out. Or I got the book here. For anyone yeah. No, it's in this packet. So specifically what follow the expert allows you to do is you choose an ally who's essentially continually making a check. Billick is essentially continually making a stealth check. Okay. Um, the ally has to be at least an expert in that skill. So I don't know if Billick is an expert in stealth. Oh, okay. Um, but I thought, no. no, yeah, I think you're just trained. Yeah, but if Villic ever became expert in stealth, you could follow his expert. And when you do that, you get to add your level as a proficiency bonus to any untrained skill, right? So with an untrained skill, you don't get to add your proficiency bonus or your level at all, right? It's just zero, whatever your stat is, basically your dex. You, so if you're level, let's say four or three, you would get to add three and then... You get a bonus depending on what how good at stealth they are. So if he's an expert, you get a plus two. Okay. So if Villic was an expert in stealth and you followed his expert, you would gain a plus five to your stealth check. Okay. Taking it from a... I have a seven. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're actually quite... Are you trained in stealth? I've got trained, yep. Oh, okay, okay. So you are trained. Whereas but, I'm a one. Okay, so yeah. So, so that's a great example. So let's say the party wanted to, let's say the party wanted to sneak in somewhere, mm -hmm. right? You would just avoid notice because you have a plus seven. Villic would just avoid notice. What's your stealth? Seven. So you would avoid mm. notice. You would follow. <laughs> if one of your party members was an expert in mm. stealth, you could follow their lead. And yeah, it wouldn't be a seven, 
but it would be a whatever you have plus five. Gonna need you to do that expert there, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's if you wanted to do a stealth thing. Got okay, it. so what direction? Where do you guys want to move in here? You Bur what? Burlington. What were you thinking? I was okay. thinking. I was thinking here. Yeah, this this, this way. Yeah. This way. Okay. So I'm I'm in the lead. I'm the one that's gonna look for the traps at the door area. Yeah, and you don't you don't have to specify that. That's what that command correct. does. I am that's searching what, right towards the door. But towards that's door. what's so cool about these actions. I just. I know that by default. Okay. If I'm, you want to specifically specify, but I'm I'm assuming that you'll you call it out. Oh, like, yeah. hey, I'm all searching. Right, let's make a yep. check. All right. So you guys make your way through uh, specifically. Medium fry. Um. Specifically, while you are searching, Bob. You. Uh, you are seeking continuously for hidden doors, concealed hazards, and so on. Uh, you can usually make an educated guess as to which locations are best to check and move at half speed. So basically, you're moving at half speed. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone's doing. Yes. And you're like, okay, there's a doorway. There's an intersection. There's a weird hole in the wall. These are the things that I'm assuming that your character is searching. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you want to be thorough and basically check everything, like... I'm going to check the baseboard. That's investigate. No, that's search, but then you go real slow. Quarter? You go like five feet a minute. <laughs> right? That's because you're like here. No, I'm not. I'm not that. I am. I'm more worried about like opening a door that's going to blow up on me. <laughs> right, right. Right. Well, again, <laughs> when you take the search action, the default is you're checking the obvious places. Yes. Like, again, intersections where there might be a trap. Yes. Doors where there might be a trap chest you know that's you're, you're what i'm doing but if you want to be really anal and like literally like with a toothbrush you move really slow looking for prints yeah, yeah my look, party yeah, might yeah, not yeah, like yeah, that. yeah if you're looking for prints now <laughs> cape, there is a uh, feat a skill feat you can take later on that'll let you be that thorough and still move it oh, that's yeah. interesting yeah. this level we're looking at here is all we're doing tonight right yes okay cool <laughs> okay Unless we go really so, fast <laughs> you won't um <laughs> you make your way across the room to we're so the, slow <laughs> yes you're very slow um you make your way across the room to uh, a large uh wooden door mm-hmm uh, the door is barely hanging on to the mm. uh, hinges, and you can see through it the night sky. It looks like this is another area that's open to the thing. And also, you can kind of smell hay or manure. Mm, smells like my ex-wife. Ah, this guy. I have a lot of ex-wives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's say you do. All right. What do you do? Burlington? Uh, Bur you know, uh, Asius gives the uh, door one good look over. Yeah. Asius. Uh, and he gives a thumbs up. Kick I it think, open. I think, okay. <laughs> what do you uh, think? <laughs> what do you think? Let me kick it open. Okay. <laughs> well, so, Somebody. <laughs> so, so by the way, so I'm going to start being a little bit more uh, cool with initiative. So like if you kick the door open, yeah. I'm going to have you roll athletics. And okay. make sure you... For your oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I slam the door open? <laughs> no, no, no more. <laughs> Did you see in episode that three where Bob noted at the time? Yeah. Where, like, cause there was no, a time where he said this it. Was like, cause this is like over a month ago. Yeah. Where I said that the Longjiku Kaijutsu, the old guy, he slammed the door open and Matt goes, oh, slam the door, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like make a comment. Like all of a sudden, like it, it, it triggered your mind and Big, like, but we kind of avoided it. Yes. I... I <laughs> Yes, and then, and then the second on a time, forum somewhere that got <laughs> argued for quite a bit. <laughs> no, 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 that was someone else's oh, post. Okay, okay. No, I didn't post that. That was someone else's I post. You did. I was no, like, no, 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 no. That that's caught I, on quick. My point was, my, I did a search for it, and I was like, see, other people are having these kind of conversations. All right, that was that was awesome. So uh, I think kicking it open thing. helps me because my athletics is slightly higher than my perception. perception. Yeah, perception. then that's great. Yeah, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, okay, so, so Gore, yeah. Wait, so uh, did, did Vilik? Did you have something? Yeah, Danny, what did you say? Uh, did we change the move speed or not yet? Not yet. The mood okay. speed? Move speed. We're at half speed. Oh, it, we're yeah, yeah. Just no, 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 no. Oh. As in, like, the box is, like, seven and a half diagonally. Oh, no. Everything, oh. everything is still one. Not yet? Yeah. Okay. Danny's, like, ready for the advanced well, lesson. Yeah, no, it's better for him. <laughs> It's. I trust me. He was bringing in a D and D. I'm like, okay. dude, we are super like laid back here. Yeah, we'll take advantage of those diagonals. Yeah, that's why whenever I make an RPG someday, it will use hexes, oh, um, yeah. and I will help you with that okay. RPG. All right. Um, so you guys are gonna break in through the door. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and make an athletics check. I it's like I I go to Ooh, yeah. Burlington. And I'm like, should we go? And just gorgeous kicks it open. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Boom. Uh, the yeah, door. The door goes sailing off the hinges. 
slams open. Sailing. <laughs> Slamming into the wall. There you go. Careening. Kicks Gore, it backwards towards Gore him. Gore flings the door open loudly, and it sl- slams yeah. against the door. Um, okay. Beyond is a large courtyard open to the sky. Tenacious clumps of partially trampled grass attempt to grow here. And then the dungeon collapsed. This giant hand from I like the, the Super Smash power. Brothers. Yeah. The magic hand comes in and yeah. starts fixing things. Um, this large courtyard is open to the sky. Tenacious clumps of partially trampled grass grow fitfully here and there in the hard-packed earth. In places stained with blood or scratched with furrows. To the north, to that end, appear to be two dead goblins. Yeah. laying. Now, I didn't put this on the map, but there's like a little like shed mm-hmm. here in the corner and Ooh, you can hear <laughs> you can hear frantic and um screaming like uh neighing like a, a horse, horse yeah is, they is, hate uh, horses yeah they hate horses <laughs> yeah absolutely however uh this is kind of like a it's like a training yard like a, a like a tilting yard this is like where the goblins practice on their goblin dogs and sure enough as you come in here mm. uh from the from the uh Courtyard, slinking forward, four goblin dogs. Mm. Ain't no thing. The, the goblin dogs are way stronger than those goblins. They are. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> they've, yeah. They got the pox. <laughs> they do have the pox. <laughs> I, I thought they were like level two. As you fling open the door, Gore, you hear a horse screaming and neighing in the background, and then four goblin dogs, their small rat-like bodies twisting and turning, sniff the air and hiss as you kick in the door. So Gore rolled a 27. Yes. That's his initiative. Yeah. So, Vilik, please roll me your stealth, because you were avoiding notice. Is that a normal thing, using athletics in that way, or is that something you do? You're you're supposed to tell the DM how... how you want to do your initiative, yeah. but no, you have to have a good reason why you're doing it. Yeah, okay. I, yeah just, like, I just think it's cool to, because that's, I what, thought it was cool. that's what you're doing to start the fight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you're kicking open the door, like, that's starting the, the yeah. initiative. Like Nobody that, yeah. might have been there, right. you know. Um, yeah, initiative, no one's there, okay. Yeah. It well, no, it's not initiative in that point. It's just, that was the check for him to open the door. Yeah. So, it, is is that also the check? So, Vilik, yeah. uh, give me a stealth check, sir. Uh, I got 12. Okay. Not, not very stealthy. Not, not very stealthy. In fact, the goblins, three. the goblin dogs' <laughs> passive perception is sixteen, so uh, they're basically aware that you're there. Asius, I need a perception. Damn, those damn glowing eyes. Danny, quit using those 16. digital dice to yeah, you roll. Got, you, got, you have to pay <laughs> for the better dice. Yes. Roll. <laughs> just regular perception, or yes, just sir. Yeah. Bob Google sent roll. him Mm-mm. a stack 20 of dice. Uh, <laughs> technically, everyone gets a plus one. Oh, 22. 17 for uh, because me. Because Gore was scouting. That's right. 17 for uh, Asius. And a 13. Burl's got the double twos. He's ahead of me. I don't know what that means. 22. 22. What do you think two twos mean? I don't know. I just assume that means you like rolled two twice. <laughs> He's throwing them deuces up. Deuces. <laughs> You're just like double twos. This is, this y- you rolled an initiative at advantage? Is that four? Or what, what does that mean? No, there's no advantage. Is it eight? I'm not sure. Plus six. Uh, well, I got a 26. Oh my goodness. My first goblin dog, which doesn't beat gore. Yeah, way to kick that door open. Yeah. yeah. Slam Asius, door what was open. yours? It was a good uh, door. 17. Yeah. Oh, number two goes after Asius. Ooh, 20 doesn't beat Burl, but Dang. does beat Asius. Oh, we're having like They're a- really mixed up. <laughs> that one. <laughs> wow. Wow, they really are mixed up. It's pretty That's interesting. Great. All right, so Gore, what? sure enough. Oh, Boom. So, uh, Danny, on Twitch, can you see the little room? Yeah, with the four. Yeah, great. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. I'm sure it looks like I'm sure it looks like a potato because I had to Oh, kill. shit, a rat. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, so Gore, you kicked in the door. So let me put everybody where they kind of would be here. Yes, so. sir. So Gore, you kind of kicked in the door. You're I would be right behind him because right I yeah. was the one looking at the door. Yeah, you were holding back here. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Vilik, we'll say, was kind of crouched here in the doorway. But they can see his eyes. <laughs> right. Okay, Gore. So you won initiative. So get him. Kick ass and take names. So you got three actions, Gore. I'll move here. Yep. And hit him with intimidating strike. Yep. Great. Uh, so that's all your actions. Yep. But you get one attack. <coughs> mm. That's going to be ni- 29. That's a critical hit. Fuck yeah. And you were said you were two-handing, so it's D12. <coughs> Want me to do that you, time? So oh. no, you add your strength. Yep, that's right. 
four, so it's 11. And then you double it. 22. So he would be frightened too, <coughs> but instead he's frightened dead. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, how did this not kill That's him? That's the worst kind of frightened. <laughs> And since I just I scared him so hard, guys. And since I just watched episode three, Foxglove would be very impressed by your actions. Yeah, so right, right, right. Yeah, but <laughs> again, so this is not a rule in Pathfinder, but I think it's awesome. Okay, so Gore goes up and with an intimidating strike crits and kills the goblin dog. <laughs> All the other goblin dogs get frightened one. That's right. Yeah, they, 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 they're sitting there and 20 seconds, you know, they, out of nowhere, the door breaks open. Right. Technically, they're not even really aware that anything happened. Gore just yeah. like kicked it. Like he would, he like kicked in the door as he's running in and he was like, oh, and just slice the dog. One big I love it. Kick. Yeah. Right. I, I, if someone did it to me, I'd be a little. Right. So yeah, all the goblin dogs are frightened one. That means their AC's down by one. Their attack roll's down by one. Everything's down by one. Is it so, every, every D20 check is, is down by one? For them? For them. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Um, all right. So uh, once they go, though, their turn's over, they, they're their fine. frightened goes down they're by one. So really goblin bad. one, goblin dog one is going to go. Which, uh, which one died? Oh, two. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Get the hell out of here. So uh, goblin dog one reacts. Uh, it kind of, you know, it's, it's reacting on instinct more than anything, but it very cautiously approaches. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I want to attack this guy, uh, it, it but approaches, I'm kind of afraid. Cautiously approaches Gore. And it comes in against the wall, kind of scurrying, and then lashes out at you with its jaws, of course. Now, normally that, come that pox. normally that would have been an 18, but it was reduced to a 17 because yes. he's frightened. And that misses, I'm sure. Yes. Okay, so now he's going to attack with his jaws again. And this time he got a 15, so no good on him. And then the fear dissipates. All right, Burl. All yeah. right. Burl ready to roll. He is a, ready for a Gore to kick open the door. Door is kicked open. Burl's been so much more aggressive these last couple of weeks. <laughs> once he found he was a, a fire elemental like yeah. sorcerer. Even once he realized once, what once I learned thing. how his sorcerer works. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I can do things. <laughs> All right. Well, the, the thing I'm finding now is that I never want to use Lucky because I gotta use I gotta use every last action. I can't send one action to give uh, Lucky. It has he has his he has his time. He's but. cannon fodder in the back right now. <laughs> oh, oh, wow! But it's not one of how, those times now. How the muddy have fallen. I did not say that to the characters. Right. World's gonna run in over here, and he's gonna hit uh, a couple of these dudes with the electric arc. Yep. There you go. Uh, I suppose these two here. One and one and four. One and four. Okay, great. Come on, baby. I make, All right. I reflex. I'm, yep. Ow. 18. Just like one, there's like two pieces of winner here and you I, hit it. I designed this table so that no one could hit their legs. The problem is, like, I should be, as, as court, I should be sitting here. That's true. Yes. I should be sitting here. That's true. But I'm sort of sitting like in the, in more wrong, the middle, right yeah. wrong spot. All right. It's all right, wrong spot. All right. So I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make number one's reflex save first, Matt. Uh, that's a 20. Mm. Yeah. That, that, uh, that beats it. And then I'm going to make number fours. Uh, that's a nat one mm. critical failure. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any critical failure oh, for a cantrip. Trip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but oh, well, what's it say? What's the save? Uh, basic reflex. Ah, basic. Basic means it follows the rules for basic saves. Basic save says if you get a critical success, you take no damage. You get a failure or success rather, you get half damage. Failure, full damage. Critical failure, double damage. Oh, that. That dog is fucked. All right, so roll your damage. The, so, so one of them is going to take half damage. the other one just have success? Yeah. Oh, just have success. So one okay. of them is going to take half damage. Mm -hmm. The other one's going to take double damage. That's yep. awesome. So what's cool is Electric Arc is uh, my, well, I guess it's my uh, chosen spell, but that doesn't increase it. Um, so it's going to be um, cantrips normally raised not from zero to two, but from one to two. So we're going to have two dice. Yes. Uh, so we've got four plus uh, the second level, so six. Uh, no. Should just be your charisma? No, I don't add charisma to oh, your spellcasting modifier. Oh, it is. You're right. Plus two. I'm thinking because. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're thinking of what? Uh, yes. No. I have it somewhere. Yeah. It's just plus four. So yeah. eight. <coughs> yeah. So you do four damage to number one. Because it's halved. And then you do 16 to number Double. four. Yeah. Unfortunately, the goblin dogs have 17. Oh, <laughs> you couldn't even. No. It's close. <laughs> Uh, so that, yeah, that was one move dang. and uh, two for the spell. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, so number four is badly hurt. Yes. Well, the good news is you just whack him real quick and that guy's going to go down. Yeah, who? Me? <laughs> it's a little far from my speed. And uh, number one has, uh, has some damage on him. But not enough to... But not enough to, uh, to take him out, but... All right. Yeah, he's down to 13. Okay. Number three. Number three. Uh, Matt, did you actually move there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You son of a bitch. Why? Now I can't flank. 
Gore. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. You dun. see, I could have moved my rat to this side of Gore. Yeah. And then he would have been flanking with his buddy. Hey, I picked it was convenient enough strategy. to hit two people with the electric arc. So, and so instead, I'm going, instead, I'm going to rip your face off. Right. <laughs> instead, just <laughs> rip All right. Number three is going to come up. He's frightened, though, still. So minus one to his attack. So plus eight. Critical. Oh, I rolled a 20. Man. So 28. Uh, and that's definitely a critical. So D6 plus three doubled. Dang. Seven damage, oh. doubled to 14. Oh, shit. I'm at, I'm at one, but that's from... from uh, Stamina. But yeah. you were also exposed to the goblin pox. Oh, Make man. a fortitude save. DC 17. Ooh. Nine. You fail. All right, Matt, you become sickened. Sick, sickened one. All right. And then, then his... Oh, no, he attacks again. Two attacks. Yeah. Oh, but he rolled really bad. All right, so the goblin dog just spends the whole turn just like going, blah, 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 like shaking all of his fleas and dander all over. Oh. All right, he's all oh, done. That's gross. Azius. You did get and we can box? move through people. I've got You it. can move through your, your teammate. People. Okay. You can't end your turn in there. Five. That's a fortitude save? Yes. Okay. DC 17 fortitude save or be sickened. Ooh, what do you got for fortitude? <clears throat> Plus seven. Not All right, nine. I am Whoa. going to um, oh nine <laughs> uh, rage. Gotta, uh, okay, so how many moves was that? Well. That was one. Okay, all my movement, twenty five feet. Okay, to so, get you, to there. so you strode to there. Yep. Okay, and then your second action, uh, rage. Okay, and your third action yes. is hit destiny. All right, who are you attacking? I'm going to attack number three. Okay, the uninjured one. Uninjured. Uninjured. Okay. A uh, fourteen. That is going to be a miss. Destiny, you uh, are filled with anger and rage as the goblin dog. You see, you know, think about it, you know, it's static miniatures, but no, Burl's like on the ground, like the goblin dog movement. is towering over him and he's like savaging into him. <laughs> Azius runs up, the goblin dog backs off. Azius oh. brings down his huge hammer, but he doesn't want to hit Burl. Yeah. So he's got to kind of like control it. You got to call, gotta call, it, call he, it back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he gotta. pulls back his shot. Uh, and then the the goblin next to you, even though he's at one hit point, he goes into a blood rage. Oh, my gosh. Bob, I like to think of it like a Happy Gilmore. Like you run up with the... Uh... Now I'm flanked. Yes. He steps to the side. And then with his second that's action, he is going to... 17 AC for me. Uh, ooh. And well, he's, up, he's still frightened. Oh, wait, I'm raging. Sorry. 16 AC for me. <laughs> but hey, I don't have the worst AC. <laughs> okay. But he's still frightened okay. for this turn. So he's going to be at minus one to attack. So it's okay. only a plus eight to attack. Uh, 14. Ooh. Now I'm going to attack again. Plus three. 16. Uh, Just a hit. That's a hit. That's it. Really. Damn it. Seven damage. Okay. okay. And of course, yeah. you're exposed to the goblin pox. <laughs> okay. Make a fortitude save. DC 17. Okay. You're 24. Fine. You're fine. Do, you're fine. So do when we get back, do they have a, a, a vaccine no. for the goblin pox? Remember. Goblin pox? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to take it. I'll be the first. I'll do a pump. Are you an alchemist yeah. or some kind of scientist? <laughs> All right, Gore, that's back to you. Along those lines. Wait. The, oh, I'm sorry. Villick. Villick didn't go yet. Yeah, yeah Villick, you were so oh, stealthy. Villick. You were so stealthy you were slow. I forgot your action. All right, Villick, you come last. What do you want to do, buddy? Uh, I can't really see. Is You're on the other side of the door. Yeah, you're on the other side. No, no, because there's a wall. So there's like three left, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, there's three left. Two are flanking Asius, and then one is back near the front door. Uh, I'm gonna go to the one that. Oh, I'm gonna activate wolf jaw stance. Okay, that's one action. I'm gonna. I think I have enough movement to go. I can't tell the squares, but uh, the not the one with the red token. I'm gonna go behind the one other one. Yeah, you definitely de you definitely do have enough movement to do that. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna. Uh, He's flat-footed. Yes. Yep. Uh, flurry of blows. Yep. All right, so make two attacks. Remember, the first attack is with your full bonus, and the second attack is with a minus four penalty. And that was the un unarmed or unharmed. Uh, yep. This is the unarmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah he specifically wanted to attack the one that was uninjured. Good. Also, remember, this is a, because he's attacking one creature with well, his flurry of blows. If either one of these hits, the creature will have to make a fort saver be stunned. Mm -hmm. The first one's a 19, and that then the second one is a well, minus four off. Yeah, minus take four off of it. Oh, both hit. Oh, this guy's so die. roll your damage twice, Danny. Oh, he did. Uh, I think that's D8 eight. plus three. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so two D8. Uh, nine. Nine. And five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a couple things. He is critically injured <laughs> by your attack. Uh, 
Why haven't they created monopole? Um. <laughs> and and as you are uh, wailing into the creature with your uh, gobble, well, uh, with your uh, uh, oh, wolf jaw, this is single arm strike. You do an extra point of damage, Danny. Yeah. Why? So I when he's or just total. when he is in the wolf with each attack. Oh, Ooh, so, so two. So is that put him so in? He's dead? actually no. He's actually because he took thirteen, yeah. oh, and so now 15. he's at, now he's at two he's hit points. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are in the wolf jaw stance, you get access to the in. you get access to the wolf jaw attack. The wolf jaw attack does d8 damage, but it also has the backstabber mm -hmm. trait, and the backstabber trait says if you're flanking somebody, oh. you do an extra point of damage with each attack. So nice. good, nice. good to know. But I need to make his fort save. What's you did, that? Yeah, you did 15 damage. Yeah. 16? No, 15. You did... Well, how much damage did you do? With I, got, your... I got a 9 and a 5. So that's 14. Plus 2? Yeah, so 16. Okay, and they have 17. Yeah, so he's at 1 hit point. Oh, he's at 1 hit point. <laughs> They're both at 1 hit point. <laughs> wow. But let me... Oh, okay. it's, yeah, it's <laughs> embarrassing. So let me roll his fort save to see if he's stunned at all against you. And I rolled an 11, so yes. So that goblin is shooken up by the attack from... Uh, from Villick, and he will lose one of his actions. Hmm. Very nice, Villick, but uh, you and Burlington need to like literally finish off these creatures. Gore. Oh. I'm going to strike missed. number one. Okay, him, Gore. so you spin on number Gore one. Gore knows how to kill a guy. All right. <laughs> That's uh, going to be a 22. That's a hit? Yeah. yeah. Now remember, this guy only got hit for four damage, though, so he's at 13. Oh. Seven? <laughs> no, you get to add your strength, Gore. Oh, shit. 11. <laughs> All right. So he's at two. Damn it. We cannot finish off these fuckers. All right, Gore, but you have two extra actions, Gore. Uh, I'll take out my returning dagger. Okay. That's one action. And I'll throw it at number four. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, to throw it. So that's fine. But remember, it's a free action, but you're going to have to loose one of your hands on your greatsword or one of your bra on your bastard sword. That's yeah. what I wondered. It's free. Okay. To to it's free to drop a hand. Okay. It takes an action to put one back. Okay, cool. So so you can let go for free, grab out your returning dagger, and then whip it at number four. All right. This is, this is with dex? It's with your dex. That's gonna be eleven. No, no, you're trained. You still get to add all your nonsense. <laughs> oh. So you should have a base of Oh, Four, yeah. five, six, I seven. I got seven base, so that's yeah. 16. <laughs> yeah. So that is, you don't have no decks. Uh, I got two, two decks. No, no. So here, watch. You're yeah. an expert, right? Yeah, it's it's seven plus two. It's seven plus your decks, so it's oh, plus nine. Yeah. 18. Yeah, that's a hit. And yeah. we know he has one hit point, so he's dead. Yeah. Okay. All right, so... All right, so you hack it to the creature to the left of you. It doesn't die. You let go of your sword, grab your dagger, it throw it. It streaks with that red light as it kind of streaks through the air, strikes the goblin dog, which howls and whimpers in pain as it kind of spurts and crumples to the ground, and then the dagger reappears. Oh, I was wondering head. if it still comes back if it's stuck into something. Yeah, it comes back. Man, back. that's a pretty cool dagger there. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and that was all your actions because it was one to... Uh, yep. One to tear oh. the dagger and then one throw it. Yes. yes. One to grab it and one to throw it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. You're so right. Is it only two actions? Or? No, he, he, no, his he, first he, he yeah, attacked he, that guy. He almost, almost, he almost killed, killed it. That guy. All right. So, Put number one out. is mm -hmm. fighting Gore. Yep. And uh, Gore, he's a goblin dog. You know, they're, they're pack animals. Mm -hmm. he, he sees Azius. He's going to move to the flank. Oh, God. <laughs> but that provokes an attack of opportunity from you. Oh, <laughs> this might have been the biggest mistake this So, you made. get to make a full attack with your. Uh, well, actually, you could D8 make it. You can make it with your. You can make it with your. You can make it with your dastard sword or your dagger. It doesn't matter to you. But yes, you'd make it with your bastard sword, and it's D8. But you get no penalty to your attack. It's your full bonus. Oh, oh yeah, he's dead. So we can roll the damage. He's at two HP. Yeah. So it says D8, <laughs> Gore. It's D8 plus your four doubled. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So yeah. eight, 18 damage. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, that would have killed him from full. Did I get him? Yeah, that would have killed him from full. That's the second crit this fight from Gore. Wow. So Gore's killed three creatures out of four. <laughs> it's the second crit. We have crit. done nothing. Okay, what's it's, your class name, Gore? Uh, <laughs> fighter? <laughs> fighter? Yeah, fight. My D new favorite. <laughs> Danny picked the fighter for D&D, &D and he was like, I don't know if I like this guy. I'm like, you don't know what a fighter does yet. Yeah. Oh, I mean, fighters yeah. are super remember legit. When, remember yeah. the fighter we had in that fifth edition yeah. uh, one that's, shot? Yeah, that's why I chose him. I was like, I love that character. Yeah, fighter's super legit. I don't know if I've actually played a 
fighter, but like All right, that's so a number class. one <laughs> takes his turn but dies before Bro, he does. You got to do this, <laughs> right? And, and and I like to point out too. Again, remember from action efficiency, you don't actually get three actions a turn. You get four. You get three actions and one reaction. Mm. So, so whenever you can use that reaction to do something useful or cool, it's, it's a bonus. You're, you're, it's a free. Yeah. You're, well, you're thirty three percent more actions. So look at Gore that turn. He attacked, hit a creature, pulled out a weapon, killed another creature, then swung and killed a, four, a third creature. So he really kind of took four actions that turn. It was impressive. Yeah. All right, Burl, you're up. All right, you got a goblin dog hemming you in, but uh, he's hurt. Villick, uh that messes him up, but there's a couple of things. Now, the goblin dog doesn't have any attacks of opportunity, but even right. if he did, he is currently stunned, which means he could not use them. But had he not been stunned, if I were to hit him with a somatic spell, yes. he would uh, he would get to make an attack on you. Yeah. But we're not in that case there. Yeah. So I'm going to hit him with the old, the good old Ray of Frost. All right, go for it. Shoot it point blank. Yeah, this is a, hit, a crit or nothing. Yeah, he is not point blank. Uh, 13. Ah, oh, that misses. All right, well, I have one more action. It's okay. time for Lucky. All right. Oh, the Badger's coming in. Everyone's favorite person. 25. Yep. Uh, is there a better way? No, there's no way to flank him. Unless you can get to the complete other side. Does Lucky have 35 feet I movement? Has, I think he has 25. Okay. Yeah, he's 25. Okay, mm -hmm. then he couldn't. Villick could have made it, but you could. <laughs> yeah, 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 Villick, Villick, Villick knows what he's running. doing. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Hit him with the jaws, plus eight. Ooh, 16. That does not hit him. All right. His AC is... Uh, well, Bur well, Lucky is there, ferocious as ever. Okay. All right. The Goblin Dog spins crazily. He's surrounded by targets. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's not looking. Yeah, I'm 100% hitting uh, Aegis. I'm just going to roll a D4. He's going to go after Burl. Yes. Probably the me. best choice. <laughs> yeah. All right, but he only gets two actions this turn because he's stunned. So he loses one of his actions. So first attack is plus nine. 27. That's a hit. <laughs> 27. Yeah, that's a hit. Is that a critical? 17. What is it? Yeah, 10 over? 10 over. Yeah. yeah. Shit, that's this is going to get in your HP. Ooh. That's a critical hit. Oh, this. I think this might be the first time it's hitting my actual HP. Yeah. I'm at oh, one yeah. stamina. So. Okay, well. Yeah, for sure. All right, well. All right, double. You, you're you're kind of cockily just like going, ha ha, these fine. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. <laughs> and then the goblin dog is like, you know, it's like backed into a corner, right? It's it's that ferocious fight or flight. Fight or flight. It yeah, literally yeah. just leaps forward right into Burl's chest and just rips at his throat. I rolled pretty well here. So uh, that's seven, 14 damage. All right. So uh, 14, 13, and then I, uh, 17 minus 13. So I'm at four hit points. No okay. stamina. Okay. Damn. Second like, attack. <laughs> fort, fort save versus goblin pox. Oh, fort, fort save. Now, I do have sickened. Yeah. Should I have tried to No, because uh, you, you have to spend an action. You have to, to spend an action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to right. regurgitate. <laughs> uh, fort yeah. save, right? Yeah, make a save because it can. Uh, 25. Okay, because it can increase it. And then he attacks you again, but, you know, he, again, we'll say that second attack is him just going. Just he's freaking go. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so he's no longer stunned uh, I, at the end of his turn. I would have. I thought the stun lasted f the whole time. Turn. I think his his whole turn, right? It, like, his whole turn. Yeah. So this turn, instead of getting three actions, he got two. Okay. And now he's done. And now I know that. But before, I thought uh, the stun took all three for some right. reason. It, I don't know why. No, it does not. Is okay. there something that, that, that does that? Yeah. That if, takes if, away? if when Bur if uh, with, if Villick hits him with the stunning fist mm -hmm. and they critically fail the fort save, oh, yeah. they get stunned three. And yeah. stun three just means you miss three actions. Yep, you lose all three. So actions. stun whatever is miss that many actions on your turn. Yeah. So Sun Yeah, I totally would have shot at that guy if I had known he still had two actions. All right. Left. So Asius, <laughs> you're destiny. All right. He's flanked. Gotta yes. hit him. All right. That's yeah, a hit. That's there a hit. we go. And we know he's dead. But you can roll your damage. There you go. Plus ten or something. Yep. Plus ten. Fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> would have killed. Almost killed. Him. Yep. Almost. <laughs> oh my God. We got to rest, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys need to figure that out. <laughs> this is the first time I didn't know I could bleed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the goblins are defeated. Uh, the goblin dogs are defeated. Uh, but Burl is in bad shape, <laughs> and it seems like the crazy neighing and scream, screeching of the of the horse coming from the small shed, which is not really pictured, seems to kind of diminish as the goblin dogs are slain. So it, looking over, it, it's an actual horse. Yeah. So looking over, you see there's like a crude shed. Or, or barn they or corral stable. corral a horse in. Yeah. And uh, it does seem that you can see that there's a horse that looks clearly pretty, not happy. That looks in pretty bad shape. Yeah. It's got a bunch of like ropes around its neck and it's hemmed in into this pen and it looks like it's been like, you know, freaking out and being a crazy animal. Uh, it looks like the goblins tried to kill it, you know, for sport. And then it just 
There's oh, two, no, again, like, like, the bowl, said, like the bowls. Yeah, but oh. like I said, there's a bunch of dead goblins in front of its thing. So, <laughs> so it, it like trampled it, the it good trampled them, a bunch of them. Yeah. And so they just kind of like scared it into the pen and locked it up. And we're like, we'll figure out how to Our, kill it yeah. later. But they haven't figured out how to kill it later. So so if uh, if I could go over there with, I don't know if, if uh, nature is the right check, yeah, but go over there just sort of calm the Yeah, horse. nature's absolutely the right check. So uh, the door to the building, the little like shed has been nailed shut. And then you see that there's been an additional layer of boards that have been sort of nailed over the top. Is that here? or is that over here? No, it's right here in this corner, right. yeah. If I could go uh, over there. Uh, yeah, um, so you can kind of, but again, it's crudely made, so you can see that there's a horse and you can see the, you know, its eyes are rolled back. But as, as the gnome, you know, who is a fey creature, kind of approaches, Burl approaches, you see that the horse does seem to kind of <laughs> snorts a little bit, you know, stamps the ground, kind of- Still there. Little, still little, alive. You know, create, creating little furrows. Uh, but yeah, um, go ahead and make a- uh, That one, so a seven. <laughs> And that's a, not a horse. That's a that's a table. And it's a critical failure. That's a. T I think that that's not a horse. <laughs> Do folks. I get a chance to? <laughs> well, yeah, not, someone else. Not I, not not before <laughs> Burl. Not before Burl comes over there and he's like. He's like, you gotta have a firm hand. <laughs> you got <laughs> The best thing we could do is put it to its death. That's yeah, the kick best him thing. Kick in the face and kill his. He's like, last he's, four like hit he's like, he's like, he's like, glue. <laughs> hey y'all, uh, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> uh, so the creature goes insane and and starts like uh, rampaging inside of its uh, cage, and then with a forceful kick. Breaks open the shoddy door. <laughs> Knocks the, Burl out. Yeah, the uh, the uh, <laughs> boards go sailing across the room, and a magnificent beast, a fantastic stallion, kind of rears out, bro uh, you know, bucking up and down. But it it lands with its eyes fully uh, rolled back in its head, the white showing wow. as it seems completely crazed by Burl's approach. <laughs> uh, looks like it's going to attack Burl. So yeah, I, I might be dead here, fellas. <laughs> uh, can I run and? <laughs> And jump on it and try to maybe break it. Oh my God! Would that also be a nature a nature uh, check of like? Sure. So well, I'm gonna say break. I'm gonna say it's an athletics check to see if you can mount a bucking bronco. Okay. All so, right. Gore, go for it. <laughs> Dice cam nat one. It's gonna be the TPK from a fucking horse from a non-important from like an unimportant yeah. horse in the goddamn stable in the corner. Okay. APC. Our easiest <laughs> fucking tried the horse. All right, so <laughs> that doesn't give me a ten, right? <laughs> well, it's, well, it's a critical fail, so it's whatever 10, it is, which is a failure, but then it gets reduced to a critical fail. Yeah. So you try to jump onto the horse. The horse freaks the fuck out. And you yeah. miss, and it just stomps on you, Gore. Oh, so oh gonna, my god! I'm gonna roll an attack. Attack for free on you. Okay. Oh, this is, this so is a war horse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who had uh, knives saved to his hoof? I got a 22 with its uh, hoof attack. Yeah, that got me. <laughs> Holy you take shit. nine damage. Okay. As the horse rears up, as you kind of like try to mount onto, you're like, you're like, all right, I got this. And then Gore, you see Gore leap through the air. The horse bucks out of the way. Gore just collapses to the ground, and the horse comes back down with a hoof right in Gore's midsection. But He's I love like, it. It's, it's, oh. like, it's like Burl's like, hey guys, there's a horse. Let me go talk to him. <laughs> Gets knocked out, and, and Azia steps in, or uh, Gore steps in. Don't uh, worry, I got it. Yeah. Azia, anything? Yeah. Oh, the horse came out of its little stall. Well, no. Uh, Burl pissed it off. It broke out of its little <laughs> and it tra prison. Trampled gore, and then it trampled gore, who tried yeah. to who tried to break it by mounting. I mean, yeah. either kill it. And or then I no, it we're just gonna move out of the way. It's not. Is it trying to kill us? Yeah. Why is it trying to kill us? Burl rolled in that one. Yeah, but that's him. Why is it trying to kill me? It's, I freaked because, it out because it it's, can't it's, see because, because its, it's intelligence is two. Oh my god! So now I have to fucking kill this thing. I mean, if you or, need to put it down, no, or where's that nature nature check? We love animals. You know. I mean, it's up to you guys. You're all right, girl. No, I mean, again, my the, nature check's not, uh, I'm not good with nature. I mean, maybe you can try to restrain it physically. <laughs> you can wrestle it. Yeah, you yeah, can wrestle, wrestle the thing. Can the you ground. go into rage mode? Yeah, yeah rage. I, I still am I stopped still raging? Not, yeah. Not really. He hasn't stopped raging. Yeah, I'm wrestle still raging. I, I, don't, I don't know if I would wrestle a horse. My, my character yeah, would- wrestle the horse. No, well, you guys say that, but <laughs> I haven't done this since I was drunk. I, um, mean, you, 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 <laughs> I mean, you clearly know that this horse was taken here as a sort of form of- uh, Torture, prison, sure. killing for you know, yeah, shooting fish in a barrel, yeah, yeah. But you said when you said his eyes is is it actually alive or is yeah. it like undead? Oh, I, I don't know. think it's. A, I, I, you've clearly not spent a lot of time around horses. Uh, no. When they get scared, you, their eyes like roll back in their head. Like they're got just, it. They're just like it's so, not supernatural. Yeah, it's not supernatural. They're freaked out. It, it's just it's a horse. It's actually named Shadow Mist. Um, we want the horse. Aww. <laughs> we, well, I, 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 I am not the one to. Um, 
All right, kill it. It's okay if you just we rolled a one and a one, so you're gonna yeah. roll okay. A the other the other option you can do is you can <laughs> attack. Yeah. You can attack non lethally, but you get a minus two penalty to attack non lethal. Punch it in the face, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or you could just the punch pistol whip. Yeah. What about Villick? All right, uh, no, no, I don't understand ACS, why why we yeah. why we're trying. I would just try to get There's out of its way. There's a giant horse freaking okay, out. So and that could, yeah. we could right. I would try to grab Burl and like, get the fuck out of there. Roll for dodge. Because <laughs> he's right. small. Well, because I was going to say, yeah. although I'm giving everyone a chance, and the next round we're going to roll initiative, and the creature's going to try to kill you. Guys. Yeah, my thought was we we leave the room. I think that's what that's what Azius wants to do. Okay. Azius like, why the hell are we attacking this well, thing? No, it's just a horse. Gonna, we're still going to roll initiative next yeah. turn. Yeah. It's just a question of who beats the dwarf horse. Yeah. So I'm. As an RPG, Aesius yeah. would not want to attack the horse. Right. He so, would want to be like. So you don't want to go down this passageway. You're just falling out of the room. Back out of the room. Are you backing out or are you uh, my, my thought initially is to check on Burl. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm well, real let close. Me actually, to let, me, let me posit this. You just said you're still raging. I am still raging. Okay, you're right. Oh, Shit. No, you're right. In a rage. Just go punch it. it, yeah. it, it no, no, I, I, would, I would try to kill it. All right. I mean, I, if I'm raging, you're yeah. right. No, you're absolutely right. If I'm raging. Yeah. Everything is. Right. I can this, barely discern this, friend from foe. Right. This is why. This no, is you're why, absolutely right. This is why Azius uh, now, put away the axe. The yes. first, or I don't want to do this, guys. So, now I think. No, does, I'm going to try to kill this thing. Okay. Does he have his wits amongst uh, no. among him that he could like not do it lethal to do it not? No, 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 no. no, no this no, is Azius' no. call, and he's cutting barely, off that horse's head. I can head. barely tell that you're my friend. Actually, if I'm raging. Actually, barbarians get a there's a class feat that they can take that lets them sober up while keeping their rage for like an action. Yeah. So Bob is they go smart Hulk. No, for I have yeah, to like for if one. If there's round. something that's being aggressive, yeah, yeah. my Bob. idea is to bring Warhammer right, down. Bring it. Okay. Destiny. One bring attack. Destiny down. One attack. Oh, critical. There we go. Oh, two critical. Nat ones. I told you <laughs> one twenty. <laughs> critical. <laughs> All right. Our that horse is dead as fuck. The noble shadow mist. No. It, <laughs> it's it's suffering and pain is brought 30, short. Uh, yeah. It's, How much uh, damage? Thirty two damage. Yeah. Thirty. <laughs> What's what is a horse's hit points? Uh, Our hit point. I just close this. Oh well, I mean, could, you know, could that have been six, one of it's our sixteen mounts times two? You not anymore. It's, it's a stain. Yeah. It's a stain. No. Listen, I, you had your chance. I know. Uh, my I, thought is literally it, when the rage occurs. It has occurs, thirty-six like, hit points normally when full. Wow. Oh, but it was in. It yeah, was, it was okay. In fact, actually, I, so I would. Oh, that's crazy. Gob- I would have not almost killed it. Um, <laughs> it like, yes. Yeah, so, so actually, here we go. The thistle top goblins have captured many horses before, bringing them back here for their chieftain to kill during cruel blood sport in the exercise yard while riding his mount, his little stick foot. Yet always before, these captured uh, horses were simply light riding horses or farmhouse horses. Uh, locked inside this room is a terrible mistake. A heavy <laughs> war horse named Shadow Mist, stolen several days ago from traveling merchants. The goblins murdered the caravan guards and one of the horses uh, before... Uh, um, between a lecture, a mixture of luck and false bravado, the goblins managed to knock Shadow Mist unconscious while only losing five of their number. <laughs> <laughs> they bound up the horse's legs, loaded it into the wagon, and hauled it back here as a prize for Chief Rip Nugget. Tragedy struck when the excited goblins dumped the horse in the exercise yards, cut its bonds, and poured a potion of cure light wounds into its mouth <laughs> so that the chief could show off its horse killing skills. Instead, <laughs> the horse immediately leapt up and began racing in circles around the yards. The goblins panicked and fleed, shrieking for Chief Rip Nugget to kill the creature. But when he failed to do so, the horse proved even tougher than Chief Rip Nugget oh was my expected. Gosh. The chief took a crushing blow to the arm, breaking it and forcing him to flee. This is the Man. best horse ever. We killed this fucker. Yeah, Rip, Rip, <laughs> this is the and best horse ever. <laughs> we should have we should have asked him to join our team. But also then, Rip Nugget is a real real. <laughs> Rip, yeah, Rip Nugget asked uh, Gogmort, the druid that you killed, to try to take care of the horse, but the druid has refused to help as long as Rip Nugget continues to allow. Yeah, to I don't even know what I did until my rage ends. So as far as I know, I killed another goblin <laughs> that was attacking I mean, us. Bur- Burl is upset at the death of the horse. Yeah, I, I went to go pee, and you guys fucking pissed off a horse. <laughs> I mean, it's how hard is that to do? I guess what? it is actually hard in real life, or not hard. In real yeah, life. but he was down to. Uh, he was how down are to we 19. gonna ride it across that bridge, anyways? I don't know. <laughs> That's, a good point. That's a good point. Good point. Ride him into the dungeon. All right. Yeah. Well, he's uh, dead. So this would have been an opportunity for you guys to gain hero points and resolve. Uh, instead, you didn't gain any of those. <laughs> as your as your is. abysmal failure. You didn't get a resolve for <laughs> killing a terrible. No, I needed to be able to say I was raging. What do you guys want me to do? Right. This is why I did. I wanted to stick to my bartending. That's right. This is I why you wanted to be a bartender. You, this is why you put Simple away life. the warhammer. That's why you put it. Away. I can't control it. Sometimes, sometimes the thirty-two damage comes out of nowhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> and suddenly, you have a yeah. dead horse on your hands. <laughs> yeah. Can ah. I search the room for any treasure? Uh, sure. Um, sure. Again, it was a stable yard. There's uh, not a whole lot here. I thought maybe they 
would hide gold inside the horse. Pen. Man, this is what <laughs> this is what Gore would do <laughs> in his barn. <laughs> All right, what about the rest of you guys? Do you remember, uh, you're now longer in combat, so right. So uh, I'm looking at the horse. Just, what did I do? You, you have enough time to eventually get rid of your second. So I'd like to use my last resolve. Okay. To heal me, previously used to get my spells. Heal your stamina. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, so I'm at I'm zero stamina, four of seventeen hit points. Right. Yes. So you'll still be at four of seventeen. Do you need hit a points. potion of elixir? Sorry, elixir <laughs> of life. I keep doing this D and D thing. Potion of elixir. So I. That phrase was said in like episode two and three. I can't stop saying it. Do you, do you need an elixir of life? Yeah. What is it? What it does. Uh, D six plus. To D6? the hit point. To the hit point. To the hit point. Oh, I, I need it. So first off, the um. If I do a, uh, it does, one d six plus one. I would like that, please. Yes. So I have two of them, and you can have one. Actually, okay. sorry, I have four of them, and you can have Ooh. one. <laughs> All right, I am drinking one. A four plus one is five, so that puts me at nine hit points. And then uh, will another thirst to your belly? Well, so the when I use a, um, uh, res- uh, what is the R? Resolve. Remember. Resolve. Mm-hmm. That, how does, I, I do this so infrequently. What happens when I use a resolve for an actual stamina? So you get back all your stamina. Oh, all the way. All yeah. the way. Sure. If you're not in combat, yes. you can use an action in combat to do half. Sure. You get half. So I'm, I'm 15 slash nine instead mm-hmm. of 15, 15 slash 17. So it's up to you. I have four uh, elixirs of life. Are those things you can easily replenish? That's from every his, day. He still has a little. I've bit just al- never used them. He send just him, has. Him, he, he has a little way. bit of alchemist still in him. Send him my way. The, okay. you, know, you got a second one. Remember, they're not have, like they're yeah. they're not magical. This, these are basically just like really potent Actual, shots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can either have this or the whiskey. That no. <laughs> my next skill option that might play into. So there I was you go. Wondering if you still make health. Potions. How about another one here, uh, there, Burlington? Oh, thank you. Six. So it puts me at fifteen. So fifteen. I'm only down by two. So I feel like the rest of uh, the rest of them I should hold on to. Yeah, I feel like good. you're okay. That's well, good. also remember I'm gonna too keep my that as long as if you have ten minutes, you uh, cure wounds. Or right? can also treat your wounds. Treat your wounds. Yeah, which is HP. I which don't think we need to spend that much time here. I no, think I don't good, want to. And I'm yes. going to avoid combat for a while now because I know next skill feat is the uh, continual recovery that yeah. lets you do it every 10 minutes no, no you can it still takes 10 minutes okay but then you can't do it for an hour, hour. But mm-hmm. after the continual, continual recovery, recovery means you can do it every 10 minutes so right. if you had an hour you can do it yeah six times and that's why i was wondering if you still Math make potions out. every day or not all right so what do you guys want to do now well i'm gonna I think, go back into sneak mode okay oh good move all yep. of a sudden dilk disappears yeah he just starts <laughs> sticking to the shadows the fucking goblins always disappearing on us <laughs> all right what about the rest of you guys? Where I mean, as a group, what do you guys want to do? I mean, I think it's. I always go forward. I think it's worth exploring uh, this chamber here. Now, I, uh, Meta, I don't know that it doesn't. Connect. Yeah, it doesn't I see a door. Here. Sure. And since I'm searching, sure. I go. There's another door over there, guys. Sure. And this, we, I know the door over here goes to the tower. Well, in the tower direction. I would go forward. Asius, thanks as for Asius. Okay. Thanks, thanks for the elixir. Check yeah. that door out. That higher life of uh, voodoo ranger. <laughs> is that the elixir of life? <laughs> it's a higher plane, baby. <laughs> there you go. It's the higher plane. See, that's funny thing is now Danny can actually, well, enjoy the beer of the week next week. Actually, yeah. we should make Danny, actually, that's a good point. Vilik, next week, you got to get the beer of the week. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think if yeah. it's your first what? time here, you got to, I think yeah. you got to supply. Yeah. What something do you have to bring? Tasty. Something that at least can a drink six pack of a six pack of something. something. So uh, we'll we'll have Kathy stop at the the beer store on the way up or something yeah. like that. I don't know if there's water in. What? I don't drink the stuff you drink. D- that's why it's your choice. Okay. It oh, is. You will. I stuff I would never Correct. Drink, you get to pick it and you get to show it to us. So it's it could be anything you want, and we'll review it. Oh okay. All right. You guys make your way mm-hmm. into the area. Now, what are you guys going to do? You're searching. Searching. For vi- yeah. Searching. Yep. Scouting. Okay. And Vilex avoiding notice. Yep. Okay. Great. You make your way to the door as. Uh, and I'm scouting with two hands. I put my dagger away and scout with two hands. Gotcha. Right. Good call. All right. Gore approaches the door and uh, Azius and Burl give it a once over. Yep. They give the uh, nod of approval. Looks good. And Azius. Another wait. wooden door. You going to kick this one in or you just open it? Oh. I'll kick this one. Yeah, all right. So go aggressive, and I'm the barbarian. Make an athletics <laughs> check. Yeah. 
Hmm. 17. All right. Uh, the door's latch blows off the hinges <laughs> as you kick in the door. Node splinters. You should have a nickname of like Door Slayer. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So the door opens and you enter into an, a small area. This room is furnished with a, it's a very messy room, but there's a round table uh, with some chairs and stools and crudely made stools that uh, looks like this is some sort of meeting room, probably for Chief Rip Nugget and his commandos to discuss their raids and their plans. Okay. But of more interesting notes is uh, there is a uh, in the behind sort of, you know, that's where that is, but in the back of the room um, there is a kind of a stinky smell coming from a... Is it the privy? From a foul, <laughs> from a foul smelling room that features a reeking hole set in the ground. It's rim stained with refuse. It is a privy. It is a privy. Yeah. What, what is it's privy? a shitter. Oh. It's a, yeah. I've heard this from a lot of D&D things. The but. Privy, the privy is like the bathroom. You guys are kind of like, <laughs> and then Asius, you spy something yeah, with your searching. This smell doesn't really bother me that much. <laughs> Um, although it appears that the goblins, uh, although prone to probably just peeing off the edge of the cliff, uh, they do sometimes use the retreat. As you're kind of like looking around, you do notice the wall of this nasty smelling room does seem to be hiding a secret. Interesting. Ooh. It looks like one of the panels of wood and, and stone covered in gunk and relief. You can see the faint outline, maybe about the size of like, uh, of like a big microwave, uh, like a, an outline. As if like that section of the wall could be pulled away. Hey guys, um, I, I feel like there's something hidden here. Pull it. P pull it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna Dug slam. It. It. No. <laughs> I'm gonna rage. Um, slam I'm gonna it touch it. Try to push on it. <laughs> yeah. Try so to you, pull on it. Yeah, see if there's something that so can come through. When you kind of get your fingers into where you can kind of see the outline of the. Yeah. There's a little bit of crack. You can kind of start to. You kind of hear like a. You know, because it's like covered in like slime. And okay. Stuff. Pretty gross, but yeah. you can kind of hear it pulling free. And then like the plug from the wall. And that's where the toilet paper starts out. <laughs> and as it kind of does, you're amazed to see beyond a pretty clean looking little cubby cut into the wall, which contains a large iron chest. Hey guys, there's a, there's a fucking chest in here. With a large, Ooh. with a large steel paddock. Ooh, lock. Let's, let's pack uh, that lock. Hey, Vilk, you know anything about these kind of locks? Pick it. Danny? What happened? Sorry. <laughs> it I, I found it. I found an off. iron chest here and it's got a huge oh. lock on it. I feel like someone with thieves tools and, uh, I have thieves tools. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> could, uh, could maybe see what's going on here. So I, I pull the chest out of the cubby. Okay. Put it on the ground. Right. As you go to pull the oh, chest out of the cubby. Oh, fucking trap. Yep. <laughs> as every think? fucking time. As you reach into this it. This always happens to me because I, I, I'm i always super careful blade, until it happens. A rusty blade of jagged metal. And death. Shoots out across the opening of the cubby. I hope it oh. goes over my head. Come on over my head. <laughs> I'm small. <clears throat> okay. What kind of save do I have to do here? I'm looking it up. This is what's, uh, what's the uh, this is gonna be a reflex save for sure. What's the thing? And this is my worst. Rust, a lot of times when it's metal? like when it, uh, holy rusty metal, Batman. No, that's called tetanus. 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 <laughs> I hope you don't get tetanus. Uh, you need a real this, world disease. Uh, this has this has tetanus. <laughs> goblin tetanus. It's got goblin tetanus. This has tetanus on it. <laughs> Great. It's got a plus one tetanus. C twenty four. There we go. I like. I, can't, I, can't I like wait the for stripes the, on that shirt. Yeah, Stacy really like this one too. Yeah. This is also Robert's old. Uh, Robert gives me all his old clothing because he's just one size bigger than me. So right. when it shrinks to him, it comes to me. <laughs> it's That's fantastic. And then I give everything usually it shrinks. Rory's like a half size smaller than me, I think. So I usually give anything that's just a little bit smaller to Rory. So Rory's number three on the. Uh, well, I, I get the scraps. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> I, I think if everything is reused, reuse, you know, recycle. Like there's a great piece of clothing that just barely fits me. It's in perfect condition. Roy, do you need it? No. Okay. I'll donate it. Like, you know, so that's move uh, in after completion. Yes. The right. Mac. The Mac. All right, Bob. Uh, <laughs> the, comes, uh, it's my worst thing. The slash comes at you now. Reflex save so guaranteed zero. Here's the deal with traps. <laughs> zero. This is a, uh, this is another Derek rule. Oh boy. Traps do not attack your stamina. They go straight to your hit points. <laughs> Makes sense, right? <laughs> it actually does make sense. It also sucks right now. All right. The scything blade attacks you, Bob. Kay. 23 versus your armor class. Oh, so no, no save. It just fucking yeah. hits me. Yeah, just Okay, hit. yep. Hits me. All right, Bob. 
12. You are dead. Holy shit. To your hit points. Uh, wait a second. I did that wrong. I'm at nine. In addition, uh, make a uh, make a fortitude save versus, fortitude save. Disease, versus, t- versus disease. 15. All right, you're fine. Okay. Versus uh, tetanus. Versus tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've got all my shots. <laughs> All right, so you grab the chest, you hold it out, and a blade slashes across your arm deeply. Yeah, so you instead hear, of putting the chest and I drop the chest. Yeah, you drop the chest. Ah, it bangs <laughs> as you can suffer a huge wound. It almost takes your arm off. Only, yeah. Only your thick dwarven hide is able to turn aside the blade. The chest bangs on the ground with a loud clang. Mm. But it does not break open. The lock stays uh, okay. intact. So, um, hey, Vilk, you want to look at this while I drink a elixir of life? <laughs> yeah, and now that the, the trap has been sprung, right? <laughs> if Vilk, you want so, to check it out. Yeah, yeah I'll come in. Pick Five there. health back. Pick for some locks. Vil, uh, for All right, Vilk, what is your uh, thievering? Down to four. Four? All right, yeah. Roll it. Uh, 20. 20? Great. No, do I roll a 20? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you roll a, yes. you roll a t- uh, everything in this game except for damage is roll a 20 side of die. So. All right, all right. 15. Okay, that's Ooh, pretty good, too. But not good. Oh, enough. fucking A. Like, so I took all this fucking damage for nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, the DC was 20. <laughs> oh, oh, that was going to be incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, great. Yeah. Nope. The, Can the, I? Yeah, can we fucking smash this damn thing in? You can certainly try smashing it, but remember, you know, that's a very brutal way to attack a treasure chest. If I were to uh, make an arcana check to see if it's magically sealed. Oh. Excuse Uh, me, that's disgusting. No, you'd have to use detect magic for that. I don't have no. Also, it is t- clearly uh, bound by a lock. Yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> it's just a simple lock, you idiot. You can definitely attack the lock, but keep in mind that that is uh, going to very much damage the chest and its contents. All right. I, I, so you're going for it? Yeah, go. It'll, for it. Oh, it'll also take a while. Yeah, I mean, I think you. I, it'll also, depending on what your weapon is, could damage your weapon. How much does it weigh? Nobody has bolt cutters. Uh, we don't it, carry those in, in medieval times. Uh, it's a big chest. I mean, like I said, it's the size of like a. I mean, how much for my half elf fighter companion? Could he just lug it on his back until we get it's to a pretty safe bulky? Area? That's the issue. Yeah. Weight, fine, but the bulk is high. It's like well, five here, bulk. here, throw it towards the entrance. We'll come back for it later. I mean, you can do that. Or b- break it open, I mean. Okay, so we'll carry it back know. this way. Yep. Toss it towards the entrance. Okay. And then, and then head down we'll here. head down that path. Okay, great. Fine, now, for, for okay. looking for that, that devilish... So much for the bringing Vilik along with his thieves tool. Can't fucking even pick a lock. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that the easiest lock ever would have thrown Vilik for a loop? Good job there, uh, Vilik. What do we even pay yeah, you for? Am I doing armor right who is taking damage so far this time? I don't think you support the me or Rory. I'm barely, a, we, me yeah, and Burl I mean, are like barely alive here. It's, it's, it's easy to avoid damage when you're not in the combat. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. What do you mean? I was in the room. No, you were. I'm, I'm just. You know. But you didn't kill anybody, unlike Gore, who just slays everybody that he even sees. Again, it was funny just just watching that Fox Love episode where he was like, "Gore's amazing." The horse that you killed, but hey, did oh, you I did know. you Danny, did, did, have you caught up to any of the episodes I guess yet? The AC bonus Not yet. Okay, you you really well. Episode one's a little rough, but I listen to him on the way home. Two and three are pretty legit because he actually puts up the um, scans of the people we're talking to, and I think it's like a really. It's a, I, I actually was entertained by them, and I actually found them very entertaining. Oh, yeah, and I, I love when the, the intro that Derek did. Yes. Okay, I, okay. That, for me, intro I was like, oh, this is the most fun part. It felt yeah. like a... I think once we can hear everybody a little better, like right now how we can talk in our mics, yeah. we're, before they were just sitting in the corner, people will be able to hear us better, yeah. they'll see us better, and they'll be able to see the battle mat a little bit better. The quality just jumps a zillion. Yes, the lighting's amazing, and we look better, which obviously, we weren't good looking to begin with, so we need to be as best looking as you can. We need as much help as we can. We, yeah, give me that. We need to hit a makeup artist. Before we, we, I, need my, I need my blush. <laughs> All right, so uh, gather up your minis. All right, so you guys make your way back through the main hall, through the watchtower, which you previously defeated, yes. and now you're making your way down this corridor. Certainly not led by... Uh, yeah, so when so when Derek doesn't use Dwarven Forge, the gift I got him is good. When he does use Dwarven Forge, impossible to no, use. No, it's impossible to use. Okay, so beyond the watchtower is a narrow corridor, which, well, it's actually a wide corridor. It's 10 feet wide that goes into further into the fort and then turns left. There are two doors. One leads further into the center of the uh, complex, 
and another leads into an aside adjoining chamber. Okay. What so are you guys doing? I am still searching. Okay. Yep. And you said, I thought in search that he has an inclination to decide what way no. the. When you use the search action, remember, you're still moving around. Yes, at half speed. I will, if there is something to be found, like a hidden object or a uh, trap or a secret door that is in a fairly reasonable place. So, for example, let's say that there was a hidden compartment in the bottom of a drawer of a desk that was situated on the far side of a room and you were using the search. You're not going to, I'm not even going to roll. Mm -hmm. You have no chance. Unless you specifically say, I am going to go search the desk. Mm. Then I'm, the, but, but if one of the bookshelves slid away to reveal a big ass door, yeah, you're going to notice that. If, if the door is trapped, you're going to, you know, you're, okay. you're, you're going to, well, you're not going to notice that you're going to get a chance. So as Asius, because this is how my character is and how I am as a searcher, I always go left. I just, I follow the left wall. That's how I am. I'm a right handed swinger. I follow the left wall with my hand usually. So any door to the left is the door I explore first. That's just me. You, as we as a group, though, don't have to go that way. That is the way Aziz would like to proceed. Well, I'm certainly not, not getting in the front of that, so <laughs> lead to the left, bud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just watch you guys back so you don't get beat up. All right, okay. so yeah, how are you guys going? What's the order? What you well, it's, it's going to be Burl first unless Gore decides to kick another fucking Burl. door open. Or sorry, unless Gore decides to kick another door open. Burl! Oh, man. <laughs> Burl kicks the door open with his mighty and it, gnome and foot. And it goes, <laughs> creaks open and barely he, moves. He kicks no the door and stubs his anything. toe. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of that creaking door sound that I had on the uh, 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 Sirenscape. Mm. So, again, um, Gore, are you going to kick this door open or am I opening it? Uh, you can open it. Okay, so Asius is first and then Gore behind me. All right, great. All right, Asius, the door opens and you stride in. Mm -hmm. And as you enter into the room. Dun, 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 rip nugget. There's a million goblins and you're all dead. No. Turn around. This large throne room mm. is decorated with hanging furs and laying, uh, laying, hanging from along the walls. Mostly black and red striped fire pelt skins, various dog skins, and in some cases, what looked like entire horse hides. Three large square timbers acting uh, as ceiling supports support a crude ceiling overhead. Those are the three pillars. They're just like big, like six by sixes. Mm -hmm. They kind of wedged in there. The faces of the pillars, however, are studded with dozens of iron spikes that have protruded through them. Basically, they've drilled, they've driven in big iron spikes to yeah, stick like a out of the pillar. baseball bat. Yeah. But the, but the pillar is, that you're describing the pillar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. With the huge spikes. With so. the lower parts of the pillars decorated with dozens of impaled severed hands in various states of decay. What the fuck is this? That's interesting. Why are they hung the Was bottom? Was this a torture? Like you, you it's, 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 it's definitely interesting. It's just what they do. Uh, to the To the northeast... A wooden platform supports a throne heaped with dog pelts and horse hides. Dog skulls adorn the armrests, and there is a large horse skull leering over the back of the of the uh, of the throne. And scuttling down near it, a gigantic gecko lizard. <laughs> there he is. Mm -hmm. So his, he's just sitting there next to him. He's so yeah. tiny, he's so cute. And he and he's Rip is on the throne. Yeah. And then the what's the name of the Stickfoot. Stickfoot, Stickfoot is kind of hanging did out you see by how him. Cute he was. He's so cute. Cuter than Lucky though. We gotta figure that out. Ooh. Pull below. <laughs> There's old Rip Nugget. Aw. <laughs> Ugh. Stickfoot in the room, joining him, <laughs> a goblin commando with his horse chopper. Three of the goblin warriors that you guys have fought many times. Little guys. The negative one guys. The negative one guys. I don't know if they did it on purpose. Holy These shit. goblins are so cute. Look at them. They look like And then near the back of the chamber, near a door, you see a goblin war chanter. 
Watch. Is that like a bard? Okay, this is gonna be a tough guys. <clears throat> well, this is the first. Oh, wow. This is look at this guy. This is the first boss, big boss fight of the of the campaign, aside from Aurelium, the little imp witch thing that yep. you guys fought. <clears throat> All right, this so, is this is gonna be pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you've come to die. Yeah, I guess we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. All right. Oh, shit. So, right. Ev so everyone roll perception for initiative. All right. You get a plus one bonus because someone was scouting, but Vilic is going to roll stealth. So, Gore. Fuck. 25. Okay. I just like hearing Danny's fuck. <laughs> Asius. Like shit. 27. Vilic. 15. Burl. Two nat ones in a row. I got a nine. Okay. <laughs> it's not as bad as Burl there, uh, Danny. <laughs> hey, would a, would a horse have fit through that door, Derek? No. Horse I, no, I think, look, Shadow Fax, what, I don't remember his name. May he rest in peace. Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist would have made it through. He would have made it. We would have made it work. Yeah. Had he All been right, alive Rip, today. All right, Rip it. Nugget got a 25. Yeah, of course he did. I was ahead of him. So, Gore, what'd you get? Do you remember, Gore? I have a 25. All right. Okay. Monsters Just go first in Pathfinder. Oh, is that the same for D&D &D or no? No. Okay. I thought so. I was I'm doing it right. Rip nugget. All right. I'm a monster. Yeah. I put all those. I think Burl fell asleep. All right. Can you put a one on the Goblin War Chanter, the blue girl with the energy coming off of her? She got a 20. I'm going to fuck that bitch up. No offense. I don't mean bitch, you know, in a derogatory way, but. Uh, and then the, all the rest of the goblins. I mean, they kill female dogs. All right. They kill male dogs. The rest dogs of the goblins too. just go here. They all go on the same initiative. And horses. All mm -hmm. right. Asius, you spring into the room. Where is um Slip or. Uh, Oh, he's with Rip Nugget. Okay. Yep. Okay. Asius, you go first. So you come to die, knights. Okay. <laughs> I will add you to my collection. Um, since I burst into the door as uh, as uh, we are this, RPGing, we are role playing. Rip Nugget. Yes, yep. up on the throne. The, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> so since we are RPGing, I, I am playing as a. Since we're RPGing, sometimes we're not. But Sometimes right we I, we're LARPing. Yeah, we're LARPing. Um, um, I instantly see in front of me the goblin, even though I hear a rip nugget. I go into a rage and I um, uh, move forward and, and, and kill the first. Uh, actually, wait a second. Let me see real quick. Perfect. Okay. Wait. I am going to. Um, you, you sudden hate charge, magic. sudden charge. Okay, so into the chief, chief. So well, you're gonna rage first. Rage. Yep. Sudden charge. Okay, into who? That's not the chieftain. Um, what'd you call her? The war chanter. War, ch war chanter. Okay. Did, did you have to sudden charge the five twenty five feet? Yep. Okay. All right. You rage and suddenly cover the distance in a blinding sp flash of speed to attack the goblin war chanter. AC seventeen. 17. All right. You get a hit, though. You get a hit. I only because only because you gave me that uh, plus one to that to my destiny, destiny mall. You have oh, a po you have yeah. the po you have it's the po nine normally, but 10 now with, so the, with, the, seven. with the plus uh, yeah. one potency rune. Potency rune. OK, great. <clears throat> of course, uh, 12 damage. You know, the only person who could kill something with a non crit with one hit would be you. It, was it 12? No. Oh. Oh, but Se 17. Fuck! <laughs> but, he, but of course... I rolled like garbage. You rolled like garbage. I tried, guys. <laughs> so 12 damage to the War Chanter. Yes. Hey, so that's still good. The War Chanter yeah, is struck and badly hurt. Uh, Roy, Damn can you, it. Add, can you add this red or someone add that to her? Thank you. <sighs> uh, and that's all your actions, yep, right? Yep, it is everything I have. All right, well, here comes Rip Nugget. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Time to party. <laughs> all right, Rip Nugget. Takes his first action. He's gonna hop onto. Uh, he's gonna command his animal, and he's gonna hop on to, to stick foot. <laughs> oh, this I love it's a giant frog. <laughs> it's a gecko. And uh, Asius is down to sixteen. All right. Um, Rip Nugget. Uh -huh. uh, Rip Nugget jumps onto his uh, 
jump, Rip Nugget jumps onto stick foot. He uh, kills Azias. The uh, the lizard kind of like leaps up, scuttles around the, the ceiling, and then drops down behind Azias, flanking with the war chanter. Oh, I was oh. I was wondering if you're gonna be able to bounce that. And then strikes oh. out with his uh, short sword, which gleams with dark energy. No, oh, come on, low roll. We don't need to fix that in post. 17. That's a hit. 16 AC when I'm flanked. This thing strikes much harder than Great a short waved. sword should. Dead. 15 damage. Okay. That's pretty <laughs> That's pretty rough. It's right. pretty rough. But not dead. I am not <laughs> dead, right? but okay, uh, I would not say I'm Close. good. Ah, dwarf flesh of Fura. A real prize for my tribe. <laughs> All right, City. Gore. Come on, baby. Need you here. Come on, Gore. How many actions to switch to my bow? Uh, like three. Wow. Nah. I will charge one of these guys. Yeah, can't you sudden charge and get you? You might be able to kill her kill? before she goes. You can reach them without sudden charge. <laughs> but, but, but if 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 Gore diagonals can, count, right? No, yeah, not just, yet. Just one. Just one. If you can kill her before she goes, I think that would be. I'm uh, a. F- I, that was my good. fear. Was I've seen All the right, war right, chanter right, Gore, What I, action are you taking? I'll move to here. All right, Gore, as you pass Chief Rip Nugget, he turns. Oh, you want some too? <laughs> <laughs> and he takes an attack of opportunity against you. Okay. 19. Shit. I have a 20. Oh! oh. <sighs> All right. I'm so used to me being so <laughs> bad. <laughs> All right, the creature's uh, dark energy short sword whew, misses your shoulder barely as you kind of spin in against the <laughs> war chanter who looks up. Her eyes filled with fear as you come in. All right, that was one action. I will attack the chanter. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh yes. That's a 27. Yes. That's a critical hit. Yes. <laughs> it's dead. Come on. It's double. 10, 20. 20 damage. Yeah. Dead. Yes. <laughs> I should have been able to kill her the first and time. Sorry, guys. And she's dead before she even went. So Good. that was great. Because, yeah, I, uh, I imagine she would have fucked Or you have one action yeah. left. Not to mention Rip Nugget. <laughs> I'll attack Rip Nugget. Okay, so great. So minus five. Come on. It's 19. Miss. Damn it. Rip Nugget turns. The Fuck. stick foot comes up. This is me tough one, guys. <laughs> it, it like, uh, it like uh, screams in your face and you back down and Rip Nugget kind of expertly turns the mount aside and parries away your attack. Um, Villick, you go next, buddy. Come on, baby. 19 <laughs> missed. <laughs> What's up? Wolfjaw. Yep. Yep. Um, and I'm going to go at the one again. So, uh, Left wall of the camera. Uh, left wall of the camera. Be camera there. left. Right, okay. Camera left. Is that like red pants? Yep, that's yeah. him. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, Vilik, uh, you sorry. spring into the chamber. Now he was still stealth, or no? Because no? he, okay. he rolled so low that oh, they saw. Okay. Yeah, terrible roll, Dean. <laughs> yeah, terrible. All right, Vilik. <laughs> Vilik leaps into the uh, Vilik leaps into the room, spinning and. Uh, uh, twirling in wolf jaw stance. All right, so you have one action left, Danny. I assume you're going to flurry of blows. Oh, yeah. All right. Two attacks, one at your full, one at minus four. Uh, 25. Hit. Uh, in minus four? Yes. Uh, eight, uh, 24. Oh, hit, hit. Good job. Both hits. Yeah, the other guy. So you get All to right, roll your damage um, twice, basically. 10 and five. Dead. Yes. All right. With a quick one two punch combination. Bam, bam. Villix wolf jaws bring the creature down right, to guys, the ground. Two down. Dead. Two down. All right. The goblins go next. All right. Um, all right. The goblin commando is going to go first. Yes. Which one? Is, oh, that one. Yeah. Speed 20. That one in the, uh, by the this pillar. One. Yep. All right, the goblin flips around the pillar to the other side. Back to the 16 AC. And then he attacks you while you're flat-footed with the horse chopper, plus eight. 17. Yep, hit. The horse chopper slams into you, slashing. You take five damage. All right. All right, next, the goblin's going to try to shove you into the pillar. (laughs) Which one? The one. He made one action to move, one action to attack, second action. Shove you into the pillar. He's going to shove me diagonally? That's what I wanted to do. All you have to do to shove is you have to move someone away from you. Oh, damn it. He is where he is. Never mind. He attacks you. Yeah. Uh, 22. Get the fuck. <laughs> 10 damage. 
Holy shit. I'm struggling, guys. What are we, what are, how are you looking? Zero slash four. <laughs> I'm really in bad shape. Who am I, Burl? You got that resolve, right? All right, bro. Yeah, I do, but I got to get back goblins, to my turn. <laughs> one of the goblins reaches out and strikes at, uh, runs at you with a dog slicer. <laughs> Come on, gnome. Let's dance. Yeah. He attacks you. 21. Mm. Uh, three damage. All right. He attacks you again, agile weapon, and he misses even worse than he did before. Meh, meh, medium fry. Meh. Um, <sighs> Who else? Oh, we got that guy over there. He was hiding under the pillar. All right, this goblin warrior takes two actions to move to the other side and then attacks you once, flat-footed, did, did, Gore. Did that provoke? No. Uh, uh, an action? It, it, it did, but you used it, didn't you, on Rip Nugget? No, no, Rip Nugget used it against him when he moved in. Oh. Uh, Oh, shit. Yep, go ahead. Make your attack. Come on, come on, baby. I got confused. Oh. 26. Yes. Critical. Yes, come on, Gore. (laughs) Yes. 15, 30. 30. Oh, yes. All right. The creature creature tries to swing around you. Gore's just like, (laughs) just cuts his head off. You're not even looking. You're not even looking. Gore does work. He does work. Uh, That's all the goblins. Burl. All right. Burl is ready for some action. I forgot this damn guy in front of me here. Yep. Yeah, handle that goblin. I don't know you if we're going gonna... to... flame fist him. Who did, what'd you say, Danny? You can move past him, Matt. He does not take gun. up the whole uh, doorway. Does he provide cover? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Well, the big pillar does too. Oh, this. <laughs> so that would give, uh, if I were to attack the uh, rip nugget. Plus what two. That... What's the one that pushes him back? He... Hydraulic push. Yeah, push that bitch into that. Uh... Yeah, but that's really rough. Remember, he missed on a 19. I, I know. Wait. Oh, he missed against uh, Gore. Missed. No, that's against uh, the the, the Gore, big guy. Gore missed Rip Nugget. On yeah, 19. I'm saying push that goblin into the pillar with gonna, the with the. I'm gonna ignore this goblin chump. You're oh, you're just gonna ignore him? Yep. Oh, okay. yeah. We, 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 I was saying kill that bitch. <laughs> you're gonna leave him the lucky. Twenty five. Okay, great. Now you have a clear shot. Run up, and I'm gonna hit him with the acid arrow. It's not an actual arrow, arrow, but you know the way Burl does it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Burl Burl goes full (laughs) anime. All right, it's my last uh, second level spell. All right, come on, baby. What are what are the effects of Acid Arrow? Well, if I hit three d eight plus uh, my uh, it is my uh, spell for level, so an extra per level, so plus two. Wow. But then uh, an ongoing one d six if after it hits because it's poison. I got you. Uh, You mean you got that from your bloodline? No, no, no. It's my uh, chosen spell for. Uh, signature? Yeah, signature spell. Oh, that, does, level. that does make a difference. Well, it, no, it, sorry. It, it adds damage for my... Uh, dangerous sorcery? Yeah, for my oh, level. All your spells add for your dangerous sorcery. I put an asterisk for some reason. Well, each level I choose yeah, a it, spell. A signature That's spell. a star. That means that you can uh, auto-level it without... Ha- but it, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you don't okay. have anything higher. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's already my highest level. Yeah. So uh, plus nine, uh, I think it's against our DC. It's probably against our AC. Is it just, one, yeah. is it, it's just a, what's, it's an, att- an attack? Yeah. Yeah. Versus his AC. Come on, baby. Uh, 22. Whew. AC's 22. Uh, Hits. Uh, All right. This guy has 55 hit points. You have a D8? You have a D8? Mm-hmm. How do you not have a D8? I have, they're all in the bag. I just, I didn't. How much easier was it? I took two. Okay. I, <laughs> all right. Uh, so plus <laughs> Come on, two. come on, come on. So we got eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm. So eleven uh, plus two. No, it's plus a, two because of your dangerous sorcery. Well, I think four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, and then they do take an uh, uh, ongoing one d six. Okay. So persistent damage. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then, uh, no, he takes that at his turn. On, yeah, on his turn he'll take a one d six. Yeah. So he's he gets. Well, we know this is underneath him, but he's got the acid on him. Mm-hmm. All right, so Rip Nugget screams as an acid arrow bursts into his back. It doesn't seem to phase him that much, but you can see that there's like acid dripping down his chest and it's still popping and oozing and popping and bubbling. Asius. Round up or round down and resolve? You round down. Damn it. Okay, resolve. Unless you use two actions. Then you would get full. And then you get full. Yeah, I'm just going to resolve once. Okay. To get to uh, uh, 13. It's not called resolving. It's um. called stealing yourself. <laughs> I, but, but whenever, I have stolen but, myself. But whenever you steal yourself, you got to you got to <laughs> tell us what does that mean for Asius? Yeah. Um. Oh, interesting. I think going deep on the uh, the old flat. Right. Like 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 right. Like the, like the way that the way that you steal yourself might be very different from the way Burl steals. You know, Burl might go like, oh yeah, chi mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. 
you know, Gore might just get real, real excited. Just I don't know. Slaps himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you doing this to me? I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we're or it could be very personal. Yeah. Like imagine if Gore was fighting against, I don't know, the guy who killed his mother, you know, he yeah. might be like, no, you know. I but. feel like for resolve, the word to, to, to really resolve myself would be slamming the base of my mall into the ground. Yeah. Okay, really you just- You shall not. Yeah. <laughs> I was just actually looking into that the other day. Just what his actual verbiage of what he said. Flames of a noon. Yeah, what all that actually meant. Because I, I never knew. I just, yeah, the Balrog is yeah. the, the noon, right? The secret fire. And Servant it's- of the Flame of Arnor. Yeah. Yeah. So Dark I didn't know what all that not meant. Not avail you. Flame of Udun. Yes. Udun Flame of a noon. Udun was another name for Morgoth. Yes. So I was learning all about this and, and what, anyway. So anyway, <laughs> I slam my destiny down uh, to the um, the staff, not the, yeah. the hammer. Boosh, that's my resolve. Like, all right. to, to almost like I used to do the volcano thing at the last time we did it, but that's how I feel like with, with, with hammer. You should and we're like pass. channeling oh. like the, all right. It's almost you're, like saying like, I am yourself. I am not yeah. falling yeah. right yeah. now. All right. That's yeah. how I do it. All so right. I, go to, I go to 13 uh, stamina. Yep. Cause that's rounding down. Yep. And so you have two actions left. Yep. I will uh, swing. Actually, um, he used his reaction if, to attack Gore. Yeah. So, so if I move out, he's going to be able to react against no, me because he hasn't gone yet. He oh, was thinking next. about flanking. Yeah, I was thinking about moving to flank him. Yeah, I think it's can. the best best opportunity. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. So I move to the opposite end. He's dead now, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, somehow he's falling. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. These he characters just, don't balance on frogs easy. What uh, do you want? Derek what? had no problem. Like literally, just like. Put him right. Yeah, okay. good. Thank you. Now you will have to use an actual move. Well, no, Bob yeah. will just have to move with me. Where, where, where is he going? Why, well, man? As, no, 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 yeah, so you're going to stride around to the yep. other side of him. Mm -hmm. Rip Nugget is flanked. AC down to 20. That's a miss. 16. That's a miss. All right. So okay. one, two, three. You're done. All right. Yep, that's everything. Uh, Rip Nugget uh, sees you decapitate, so he knows that you do, do shit. Uh, I'm threatening. <laughs> but he knows you, your reaction's down. Oh, <laughs> good point. Are. So he's going to use his first attack, his highest attack against you. Oh, I was going to say, and Asius. <laughs> and he's going to power attack. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a feat. Gore has it. If he, well, he doesn't I have it. He could have chosen it. it. Yeah. All right. So he goes, come on, Sticky. And st stick foot like rears up. And then as it comes down, Rip Nugget lowers his gleaming dark energy blade kind of at you like a lance. And the weight of the creature's falling goes with it. Rip Nugget kind of goes over the top as he tries to just bring the blade oh, down onto you. So power attack for the people at home does what? So power attack is a two action attack. You make one attack. But if you hit, you do an extra die of damage. Oh, shit. Without the penalty With, of Without the penalty of it. Two. Oh, boy. So here we go. That is something. Plus 14, Gore. 20. 27. Uh, Damn. So you're going to get hit for an extra die of damage. To be fair, if we had to pick one person to get hit right now. Yeah. 21 I'm, damage. He's Holy so dead. fuck. Woo. That might kill me outright. No, I'm all right. I'd be all right. That would kill me right now. I'm Time right now. to eat, boy. He uses third action command animal. Oh, this oh, is, is like he lucky. dismounting? Wasn't that or is he staying on top? Uh, 20 oh. 21 from 34. Oh, Burl. All right. The gecko. Burl? The gecko kind of leaps about and then got, lands next to you. Real quick, I got to look if I can ride Bur uh, Lucky. It's not medium. Oh, I need the giant gecko is medium. I need can to take you the feet enhance? that makes it. No, can you enhance Lucky? There's a feat that can make him one side. Can you, can you 13, enlarge Lucky? Right? Are you asking me a math question? And then question? ride him? <laughs> oh, please do not. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, could you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes him a large creature. You can enlarge oh, that, Lucky that's and then ride plan. him Enlarge, enlarge him and then just ride him. Yeah. But Why I think, not? I think uh, you can also take an optional feat somewhere that says that your animal companion is one size larger. Okay. So make them from small to... I'm just medium. saying, you have the ability. Could I have I could do. I have heroed that out to a miss? Uh, you could have. But we're past that, right? A little bit, but okay. it was... As long as the next uh, action hasn't been taken yet. I haven't gotten used to yeah, that Yeah, he's attacking yet. you. That? It sounds like that action's <laughs> being taken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh... He's biting you with his sticky mouth lip. Bring it. <laughs> you stinky rip nugget mouth. Uh, 16. <laughs> yes. 
All right. Oh, wow. Good job. By one. I oh, by seven. one. Okay. <laughs> I was like, dang. Well, he has, a, he has a plus 10 to hit, so I Damn. rolled pretty low. <laughs> yeah, that's about the only way I'm not going to get hurt. All right, so the lizard tries to, like, just snap, like, like a big frog. It just tries to, like, just straight eat Burl. So it wasn't even Rip. It was Stickfoot. This was Stickfoot. Oh, it was yeah. Stickfoot. Yeah, yeah he by the commanded way, animal. Yeah, and Stickfoot, and because you're small, if Stickfoot had eaten, he would actually have swallowed <laughs> you. Eats me? Yeah. Oh, it's we, like Gal- uh, We had this Bello. happen in the... Uh, what was the underground citadel thing? Uh, Some citadel. citadel. Yeah, 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 they could actually tongue. How grab. embarrassing! All right, so Gord, <laughs> you're up next. <laughs> so you take a Come wicked on. hit. You gotta fucking I let him know. Let him know. Steal myself okay. for a moment to regain not all stamina. Right, Just half. half. You still half spend round one, it down. You still spend one point, and but you get half. Yep, one action. Ten. So ten. And I whisper to my. Self to my blade. <laughs> no, no, that's not what Ooh, I do. Come hither, dog slayer. Uh, I lick the blood Whoa. from my Whoa. hand. Is that goblin pox again? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it comes from the dog. It's, a, it's AIDS this time. <laughs> and I go, your kind will never learn. <laughs> this is the real actual disease. <laughs> and I stride up So much to editing. Him. Sorry. <laughs> and... You couldn't get to the. You couldn't flank him. Oh, uh, that was one, two, three, four. Yeah, you could get up there. It's only diagonal. Get up and yeah, flank that bitch. Until Especially we, if there's no until attack, we changed it until the uh, attack of opportunity. Yeah, but you that was only tw- that was only t- twenty. Yeah, that was yeah. Diagonal would have made it twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. only five. Then it's ten, right? Right. Yeah. So I attack him. Well, it's seven and a half every time. Do you have a weapon or something you can threaten Rip Nugget with? Generally, Burl has his. Uh, he, he, I don't have to carry anything. You so hold I have my dagger. dagger. Okay. All right. Yep. Like, All right. Yeah. All right. You used to hold my Plus, torch, and now I say when it was right. dark. Doing that. Right. When it was Plus, dark. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you're you know brimming with magical energy. Hey. Okay. So uh, right while, while Stickfoot tries to eat Burl, Gore, <laughs> you stride over to behind him and attack him flat footed. Attacking yes. Rip Nugget. Yeah. Rip Nugget's a minus five. The toad under him is a straight attack, right? I'm minus sorry, what two. Does that mean? Minus two. Uh, AC. Rip Nugget's not just himself. He's also a fra- uh, chameleon. There's two two characters. There's two creatures both of to which attack, yes. are flanked. Both of which are flanked. Is there a plus or minus to attacking one over the other? No. Nope. Okay. Minus, I mean, they're both flat footed. Six, six foot doesn't have as high of an armor class as Rip Nugget. Okay, I'll hit Rip Nugget. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Shh. come on. Thirty-one. <laughs> come on. Not a crit. Oh, oh really? No. no. Twenty. His AC is twenty-two. But he's flat footed. He's twenty. He's twenty. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gore does work. Gore does work. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. It's, it's still a crit, though? Yeah, it's still, it's still okay. 12 damage. Six oh. times two is 12. 12 yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Also, that could have been so epic. We'll go back in time a little bit. Matt, give, yeah, me, a, he should have taken give, me, his, give me some acid damage. Give me a 1d6. Let me see. Four, four damage. Right, it takes four more damage. And then I'm going to roll a d20. I have Wait. to roll 15 or higher. Oh, okay. He is still to burning with it? acid. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's still be- aciding. What were you saying, Gore? Uh, you have one action left, Gore. I'm going to cast shield. Okay. Seems reasonable. All right, Gore, Villick. Come on, baby. All right, Villick. There. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see what's going on. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go assuming up. that he can see well. What's going on? The wall side. The wall side? So of, uh, the, of the toad. Yep. So he's not uh, flat-footed for you. Um, right. But, I mean, he couldn't be. There's no way because yeah. Burl and, and Gore are taking yep. up those spots. All right, Villick. Uh, um, well, there's a problem, Villick. Is it working or no? Well, no, no, no flanking. The problem is, Villick, as you move to that position, uh, Rip Nugget gets to try to attack you. So mm-hmm. there is something to, to clarify oh, with any lag that we have here. Again? Yeah, he gets yeah. his opportunity. You attack. could choose to go here instead, uh-huh. which then would not provoke, right? Right. You're but that, that spot. will also not allow Azeus to, to flank. flank on my attack. That which is I absolutely think, true. I, just I want think to make it's sure a. I think it's actually a good thing he actually moves in. Me too. I just want to make sure that, that yeah. uh, uh, he's track he's tracking on that. Yes. Yeah, so, so Danny, uh, just, uh, you're a little delayed on the, on the on the Twitch stream, but it, because it, if you move into his, um, so the way direct, it works is once a creature once with a creature with attack of opportunity can could hit you, you have to stop moving. If you keep moving, bam, mm-hmm. he gets to make a free attack. So you. once you get to the diagonal, Danny, he could hit you. You could stop and then not uh, provoke the opportunity of attack. But if you move one more. You you will provoke it, but 
but moving one more allows me on my turn, which will be before Rip Nuggets. Yeah. I can then yeah. flank him for minus minus which, two to his AC, which I is agree. huge. I agree. I think that which is, is huge. Better. You'll get you'll get the attack of opportunity on you. No, no, no. no he only on gets you. one until his turn has replenished. And it will be against you. So he uses it against you. He won't be able to use it against me. I think it's good. And you, right. Yeah, that's fine. Let's yeah. So side, right. yeah, move him up to the next side. Right. And I'm gonna get a little bit more meta gaming on you guys. Oh boy. So we'll get there in a second. All right. Rip Nugget definitely oh is gonna take that opportunity attack. So he spins on Villick as Villick tries to sneak in behind oh him boy. between the wall. Twenty four. That's gonna be a hit. Villick, yeah. you're hit. It's, yeah. it's very low damage. Nine. Oh. From him. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because it was twenty two yeah. against. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he did a power attack against oh. him as well. All right, you ready for the? You ready for your mind to be blown? Oh boy! Here we go. Meta gaming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Billick moves in. Okay. Yes. Billick has the ability to make two attacks for one action. Billick has used one action. He has two actions left. Now Billick could attack yeah. with flurry of blows, and then he'll have a third action left, and he could attack this guy with a minus eight. Let's be real. That's not going to hit, right? What he could do instead, you can spend two actions on your turn to ready. When you ready, you can ready a single action or two action activity. Because he's only going to flurry blows anyways, what Villet can do is move into this position, then ready. Oh, for Azius. For Azius to move in to the flank. Oh. Then he can ready. You can only ready one thing, like one attack. But he can ready flurry, flurry blows, blows oh, right, which shit. is two attacks on the flank. Which could paralyze. Which could stun. Yeah. Stun, now, stun. Now, the only downside is, though... That uh, Rip Nugget goes next. No, no, I go next. No, uh, th no, this oh, guy go next. Th this idiot over the here. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, yeah. I, I was yeah. looking at him. Okay, yeah, yeah the commando. The so, commando. So Villick will lose an action because he's giving up an action to do this, but Rip Nugget will be at a lower armor class by being flanked. Yeah. And it might. I, I, does it change your. Uh, no, because it, it uses up your reaction to do it. Is that something you think you want to do, Villick? I'm so confused, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> So you, I have two actions left. Yeah, so basically what you'd be doing... One of them is readying flurry blows. No, it's... it's two, yeah, up. it takes two actions to ready. That's why. It takes two actions. So basically what you'd be actions. doing on your turn is getting into position and then like cocking your fist back and waiting for Azius to get into position. So and the, then, that is AC's minus two. So, oh, so okay. that your hit could be more effective. So you're going to wait to attack until Azius moves in... So that you're like, you guys are like cross flanking him. Yep. Okay. I got you. Is the AC then, minus two for everybody or just. No, it's anyone who. It's only the person who's flanking him. Okay. Which in this case, who is ever. Yeah. So everybody then I just, so then I just attack with one flurry of bows or do I get No, you don't two? do anything. You, you just move. Right now, you don't do anything. You just move. Oh, uh, when I do. Oh, when you yeah, when you do do your attack, you're gonna use flurry of blows, and flurry yeah. of blows says make two attacks. Yep. So you get to make two attacks. And then I'll and have attack after that. No. no, no, no. This is just your this is just your ready thing. So on your turn, Villick, you have three actions, three dots. You use one dot yeah, yeah, yeah. to move, and then you use two dots to ready. You are now out of actions. When you ready, you ready your oh. flurry of blows, and that flurry of blows will trigger later in the round. Yep. So. You, that's that basically your turn would be over. You basically got in a position and then ready. But what's good about you, but you writing flurry of blows is you could stun him if you hit with uh, one, one of one, the actions. One of them, yeah, but. And he's gonna be minus two AC, yeah. which is huge because he, he's down one well, action. Oh, because you're real. flanking him. Because I'm Cause gonna move eight, in to flank right, him. I'm thinking in the future. And the minus two is from a double flank. Yes. No, it's just from, no, it's flank. Just from flank. It's just because from I'll flank him. Right. I think it's a great, I think you should ready. I think that's a, a great. Don't I get plus one for flanking? No. Yeah, you, you get they, plus one to damage. Yes. Yeah. Because you're so, backstabbing. So it's much better for you to flank. The creature's armor class will be lower. You'll do more damage. It's huge. And, and yeah, it's, it's and Derek as the as as our as our great GM here, um and uh, is telling everyone at home these these are great strategies for people at home as right. well. Yeah. And and Villic and all of us actually as new Pathfinder noobs um to learn sure. how to how to actually Strategize movement versus D and D, which is a slash and bash. <laughs> I thought a person on either side caused flat footed. Yes. It does for you. So you the and, and Burl are flat footed. Are flat footed. The creature becomes flat footed to you. 
Yeah. So Danny is not not so right flanking now, him. Rich Nugget is only oh, flat footed to oh, you oh, and Burl. Okay. okay. But I thought flat footed was minus one to AC. Two. Minus two. two. It minus is two. Minus, minus two. two. Wow. Okay. Two. Yeah. It's, it's huge. Deal. It's huge. So especially, if I can move in next in turn, it's great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. Villic readies. Okay. So the goblins yeah. are going to go. So the the one goblin uh, turns around from Lucky, comes in and flanks Burl and kills Burl. So we can't do it anymore. With his dog Slicer, he attacks. It is minus. Lucky. Just yeah, <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah, so. this whole time, Lucky, I, we're fighting. Why are you what standing are you there doing, doing nothing? <laughs> uh, that's that's called game balance. I'm sorry, I apologize. It doesn't make any sense, but it's what they. He he gets distracted to do. by like a butterfly. He's All like, right, oh. so Matt, your AC drops by two, and here comes the dog slicer. Twenty-seven, fifteen. Ooh. So, so plus critical 12, hit. Twelve, yeah. Luckily, these guys don't do a lot of damage, but he the dog slicer has backstabber, so oh, he does plus he's one. Backstabbing so you. he's going to do D six plus one. Instead of just D6. I roll a two. That's three. Cr doubled for six total damage. All right. You six, okay there, Burl? And he's going to attack you with his dog slicer again. It's an agile weapon, so plus four. 16. With a 15 AC. Yeah, Damn. hits you again. It's a backstabber. Six damage. Oh, shit. The, so it puts me <laughs> zero stand stand in mind. All right. So the yeah, goblin kind of goes, stand up, stand up, stand up. What the I, fuck I, did he just say? I speak goblin. Oh. He, he said, uh, uh, I hope I oh, hope me too. Die. Yes. So is Villa. Yeah, I hope the goblin speaks goblin. <laughs> right, so the goblin scene? commando is going to move to here. Now remember, horse choppers have reach. He has 10 foot reach with his mm. horse chopper. He's your what, is a, is it, is, what is a horse chopper? Is it a spear? It's, a, it's like a big, uh, big axe. Okay. It's a, uh, like, it looks like a really big meat cleaver. Glaive. Okay. Glaive. Like yeah, it's a glaive. Yeah, it's, it's like a big meat cleaver. The goblin commando attacks. Uh, Asius? Asius. Yeah, of course he does. 16. Um, no, I'm not. Raging. I'm not flanked, right? No, you're so not. I'm 18, not. so I'm good. Oh, okay. I thought with your raging, you have a minus one. But I, I know I'm clumsy and raging. I'm minus two. Yeah. So, so I'm 18. Oh, you're AC yeah. on my 20. Until okay. I'm flanked, Damn. that I get really fucked. Gotcha. All right. Well, in that case, he misses. Yeah, I'm usually I'm usually fucked in flanking. <sighs> he's gonna take a second shot at, with his minus five, but he's gonna throw it at Burl. Oh, shit. Hmm. Throw it at Burl. No, no. Throw oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like attack normally, but <laughs> using his okay. much less accurate second attack. I only got a 10 Burl, so oh, you're, you're totally good there. So that's all the goblins. Burl. Like this bitch up. Well, the problem is I've got I've got guys on both sides. <laughs> can you can you push the guy behind you back and then attack the guy in front? Or can you attack no, the guy in front? No, spells are only two, two Shit, actions. you're right. No, you're right. Yeah. Well, unless elemental toss, which is one. Also known as Pyroblast. Oh, Pyroblast, sorry. Which, you get, which you get which you get one of for free every fight. So is, well, is it every fight or is it until you rest? Nope, it's every fight. Free meaning I it's a focus only regenerated when you nope, rest. Nope, it recovers in every minute. Free oh. meaning of free action or free meaning a uh, spell slot? It costs one. No, it's not even a spell slot. It's it, one focus point, uh, and he gets back his focus point after every fight. But oh. it's like a it's like a like a ghost. It's like uh, a separate re reservoir yeah. of sorcerer's oh, power. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Um, no, it's not after. Yeah, sorry. It's it's uh, every every few minutes you get it back. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, the only yeah. way, the only way you wouldn't get it back is if like this fight went right into an immediate other fight. Basically, if you could use resolve, you don't have to. But if you could, then it's enough time. Then it's enough time for focus. you to get back your focus point. Um, all right. So uh, I don't recall. Do they have uh, attack of opportunities? He does. But he used it on Vilik. Did when he rushed in. Yes. All right. So then I'm gonna, you know, throw caution to the wind here and um, with that, that good old fashioned hydraulic push. Mm -hmm. All right. To who? The goblin behind you? No. He he wants wants to kill. Rip, You're gonna push this guy away from our flanking rip ability, nugget, baby. No. Look. He pushed. You, if you, if you hit like him, this, he goes right? five foot back, right? No. So how does that work? If yeah. you, no, he there. doesn't go. F he has to be pushed further away from Burl. But he can't because there's a guy in the way? No, but he could push him. Remember, further away means a lot of things. It means the square he ends up in has to be further away. Burl could put, blast him into the, the spike pillar. Ooh, oh. do extra damage. Okay. And it's only if it's okay. a critical success. Okay. Right. You're a water okay. bender. All right, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> All right. I'll allow it as easiest. All right, let's see it. <laughs> All right, hydraulic push. Come on, baby. Plus nine. 18, so a 27. Oh, hit. Is it a critical hit? No. No. He's right. like 22. <laughs> yeah, almost, but you know, not quite. He's huge. Uh, uh, like that dice noise. No, wait. It's not heightened. Success is 3d6. Yeah. And knocked back five feet. Uh, so we got six, seven, eight, nine. And then for each level, it's a level one, one spell, so, so 10. ten. All right. And he has moved five feet right. into so the he, pillar. Right, so he can push him back. Either this way, this way, or this way. Now, now is he off, off the, him? 
Huh? Off the gecko? Maybe. Yeah. Well, I didn't hit the gecko. So I'm, I'm, it's a top blast. I'm hitting it. Gecko right. stays still. He flew. All right. So he f shoots Rip Nugget. <laughs> Rip Nugget bashes it. Well, Rip Nugget can't move into that square, though. So it doesn't actually work. So what ends up happening is Rip Nugget stays where he is. Uh, but it basically think of it this way it you guys are fighting around the it, pillar it, it, it just in the back it, yeah it just pushes him into the spike Ouch. pillar <laughs> so as he gets hit in the spike pillar matt give me an extra d10 come on oh come on give me that big roll you got it you had it you had it is that a 12 no no 12 no, no, I, I know eight. Eight. that's a good roll <laughs> that's a good roll <laughs> oh, it looks like this i didn't have one all right yeah. azius yeah. all right here we go guys moment of truth <laughs> all right um uh, move in. so azius is gonna move in mm -hmm. and when he does Azius gets to attack and Villic gets to attack. Yes. So I does who goes first? Uh, technically Villic. Okay. So I move in first. All right. You move in first. Uh, Villic, come on, baby. All right. So Villic, as Azius makes his move, he is now flanked with you, which is what you've been waiting for. So you had a ready what flurry of blows. Ready for. So now you get to attack with your flurry of blows on the enemy's turn using your reaction. So go ahead and make your flurry of blows attack. Both. Uh, the first attack with your full bonus. The second attack with a minus four penalty. The creature's armor class has dropped. From 22 to 20. I got 20 and 14. So 14 misses, but the 20 hits. So go ahead okay. and roll. Uh, Damage. Sorry. 10. Remember to add plus one because you are flanking him and you have backstab. Oh, 11. All right. 11. Rip Nugget staggers as he is struck and then oh. makes a fort save which he passes against the Stunning Ooh. Fist. But now, Azius, you are in melee and you are flanking. Same thing for you, AC, 20. You have one attack, two attacks. Uh, it's a miss on the first one. Okay. Okay. And Don't forget um, your hero point if you have it. So it's 14. Turn that miss to a hit? Yeah, I could turn the uh, miss, into a hit. miss into a regular hit. Yep. Um, you do a lot of damage, Bob. Yeah, I know. Uh, He's I, taking a lot of damage. I think... I think we have to do it here. I think we have to, because next week I can drink. Right. Um, so go for it. <laughs> this next week, and this is the final fight, so we're yeah, good here. So this is going to turn into a success. Yep. Success. All right, so, no, you got it. You're spending a hero point. Let me know. Well, how are you digging deep? Yeah, tell us, the, paint the what's picture. What's the heroic, what's the moment? What's Or what's the rage moment? What? Like, <laughs> why? Okay, what, think you, about this, guys, right? So I swing, okay, my, uh, my maul, right? I yeah. swing, miss, oh. but I don't stop. Full circle around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes, yeah, so wait, so wait. It comes so back wait, around. Wait, so like you miss it, yeah. goes pathetic. Yeah. Yeah. Is this but, the best that you can? Oh, it's still oh, coming. Oh. It's still coming. It's like the, you just don't stop the momentum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the, going. the barbarian from Diablo yeah. too. What's, <laughs> what's the one from Here Is a Storm? The girl that swings into oh, uh, whirlwind. Yeah, Valeria, Valeria yeah. or whatever. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Just a it's, fucking spiral. Yeah. Diablo All right. D12 plus ten. Ten. 14 damage, not bad, 14 but uh, damage. pretty good, pretty good. And then Matt, give me a D6, because it's oh, the, poison. It, the, the persistent acid damage, four. All right, so four. 18 damage. Okay. <laughs> ah, the creature burns, and then you spin around. Yeah. <laughs> the head goes sailing through the air. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Goes, and it lands right through, like, the horse's skull, like like a basket. Oh, like it's okay. And then falls okay. down. Oh, no. ah, and one. Nice yeah, shadow yeah. war. Yeah. Yeah. And one. I still have one action. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the, the well, goblin's dead. dead. Yeah, the lizard is there. Okay. Yeah. And so is so is the other. Yeah, and so is no. the one little. Well, I'm going to turn to the commando yep. and try to bring uh, Desi down minus five. Yep. Well, his AC is pretty low, so. Uh, this is going to be uh, 26 minus yeah. 21, 21. Oh, no. 21, 21. 21. Sorry, 26 21. would have been a crit. Yeah, 21. 21's a hit. Plus 10. 13. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's how we do things, guys. All right, so that's everybody. Roundhouse. <laughs> All right, stick foot. The, the lizard oh, yeah. Yeah. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Uh, attacks you. Because attacks who? You. Ah, I'm totally yeah. dead. Yeah, I'm totally dead. Nah, you'll be all right. 24. He's gonna miss. He's gonna miss. That's a hit. Uh, four damage. Okay. Lowest so, I could do. Yeah. I'm at <laughs> nine slash four. Um, and then the creature is going to try to move to the. the uh, Oh, no. I get an attack oh, never mind. I was going to say, it's, 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 it's going no, to move to the corpse of the creature, but I forgot you topped off its head. So the, hor the corpse is right there. So, yeah, it's just going to keep going to a blood rage and it's going to keep yeah, attacking the rest you. Of it, yeah, the rest of uh, Rip Nugget's attacks, body is, attacks you. It's, it's, it's 21. That's a hit, too. With a minus five? Uh, minus four. Oh, wow. It's still killing me. 12 damage. 
I am at zero slash one. Hey, you're that means zero that means slash you are one minus eight. Oh, this is for sure killing me. All right, I rolled a two. Okay, so, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, Gore. I'm gonna Wait. attack Stickfoot. Yep. Twenty hit. Come on, baby. Put this guy out of his misery. Eleven. Okay. Okay. Ah! And then you get two more actions. Yeah, what do you want to I'll do? Attack Stickfoot. Yeah, he's flanked, so remember his AC's down by two. Twenty-three. Hit. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Fourteen. Okay. You still have one action. And I throw my. <laughs> I can't throw the dagger at him, can I? Uh, no. You know what? You're you're a fighter. Yeah. Is this a boomerang toss? Yeah. 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 Thing to remember is is. is uh, Burl is very small. Yeah, so, so is the goblin so is the behind goblin. him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jeez so, Louise. I'm so that's true. Throw your goblin dagger. Throw your returning <laughs> dagger with a plus or minus eight. So minus. Uh, 27 minus. 10. Oh, no. It's. No, yeah. Minus 10. You've made two attacks with two. Oh, I'm sorry. It's. Yeah, it's minus. Yeah, 10. but you've, you've made two attacks with two non-agile sure. weapons. So minus 10. Uh, so 17. 17. And Hit. then minus. Hit. Okay, okay. You get to do your damage. Remember. It's a dice four. D, di, D6 or D4 plus your strength. <laughs> Seven. Dead. <laughs> Gore does work, guys. Yeah. Gore does work. I think he let it, him know. Killed the majority of these guys. <laughs> he just does work. Also, I love when it's just like a secondary, and then I throw my yeah, weapon. And picks up random the, item, kills <laughs> random a foe. And then <laughs> the dagger comes back. That thing has been doing damage. All right. It's like Thor gets the hammer back. The thistle top the goblins the have been slaughtered. Mm. Their chieftain has That's been out. put to the sword or the mall. Um, the throne room and the last of the goblins uh, defenders are dead, and the power of the Thistletop goblins is broken. Azius, are you are you zero still conscious? One? <laughs> huh? huh? Are you? Uh, hello. I'm either drunk or barely alive. <laughs> um, a couple things happen. Um, you guys gain a hero point. Back to one. <laughs> I should have used some of those. <laughs> they don't. No, you don't, you don't <laughs> they're great to have. I'm at one, and I think Vilk's at four. I got three so far. Yeah, I just I'm barely. I'm racking them up. On. And. Uh, well, easily retrieved because his head was separated. Uh, <laughs> Rip Nugget has the key to the chest. Lovely. Around so we can go get that thing. So you'll be able to get that. And his sword is magically enchanted. It has both a plus one potency rune on it, which several of you already have on your weapons. That's the one that gives you a plus one to mm -hmm. hit. But it also has... A rune of striking. Mm. What kind of sword is this? It's a short sword. Goblin short sword. Like so it was a, the plus <laughs> one sword is plus one striking. Is no. this something you could use instead of your bastard sword that you would like to use? No, you, you guys are completely, well, Sorry. you guys are completely forgetting a lot of things here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember, runes can, in Pathfinder, weapons aren't magical. They're normal. Yeah, and we then can they, take they get the rune runes off. Put it. So you can yeah. transfer runes. Yeah, we can transfer it over to mine yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I just didn't know if, so, if you wanted to use yeah. this sword sword so, versus your bastard sword. Unlike in D&D, &D, the way... So in D&D, &D, if you have a plus one sword, you get to add one to your attack roll, and you get to add one to your damage roll. Right, right, okay? right. In Pathfinder, there's it's divided into two paths. Okay. The first is called potency. Mm -hmm. That's the plus one that you guys have. You have, a, you have a plus one potency rune on your weapons. Mm -hmm. That's what gives you a plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does nothing yes. for damage. Yes. Sure. The damage track is called striking runes. Okay. This has a striking rune. <laughs> when you have when your weapon has a striking rune, you add plus one to damage. No, you add an entirely separate die of damage. Oh shit. What what die? Does it Whatever matter? Whatever your die is. Oh, then it needs to come to me. Strength is no, because it's it's the die of damage. It's, I'm I have a D12. Yes. So if Bob, if, it was, if it was on Bob, if, if, if it was on it, that's huge. If it was on Destiny, Bob would roll two yeah. D12. That's huge. Plus ten yeah. damage. That's ridiculous. But, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but who is Mine who's back and forth? So who's I more likely to hit? Uh, no, Why? I have a plus one proficiency rune on my thing. I'm that's I'm huge. No, no. Now. He's saying he's saying if it's on Gore, but I will also say this: Gore is there's a certain sense of maybe overflow there because Gore is also more likely to crit. 
So you, sure. yeah, you should you could do like fifty damage with Gore if he crits with the potency rune. But mine goes but back then, and forth between if, eight and twelve. But if the creature that's true, and if Gore's in one hand, I'm it's D eight. So there is something. Like that. But yes, this well, is certainly a, don't give it to me because yeah. my dagger one d four. I will hold on to the dagger for now. <laughs> okay. Or short sword. You can, all, need to. You, you can also put the striking rune onto Vilix hand wraps. Yeah, we're not doing that. Would they give me four hits on Flurry Blow? No, it, it would give you. It would still only get two attacks, Danny. But each one, each hit would do two d8 instead of one d8. Now it you takes can't put two girl four damage. On no. How long does it take to disenchant to there, enchant? I can't remember. I have to look it up. But now it doesn't. I mean, again, we're you know, we're it's the end of the session, so sure. we will have time to look it up. Okay. So, so you get the key to the treasure chest. Yes. You find his glowing dark yes, energy we, sword has the potency runes. Yes. You got a hero point. Yep. And you level up. Yes. And oh. Then we go open this chest. All right. Mm. I'm going to go open the chest. Yeah. Got this damn thing. Key. I'm going to open it up. We threw yeah. it in the front. Now, remember, I remember in Pathfinder, silver is sort of the default treasure. Okay. Um, and right in D&D, gold is the default treasure. Okay. Inside, you find assorted loot. Worth 45 gold. That's above average, as I understand 11 it. each. <laughs> Almost. 11.25. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. So, yes, because it's all assorted, it's a bunch of silver and gold. You can actually, technically, you do gain 11 gold, two silver each. Okay. 11 and gold, two silver. You also find a variety of fine items you find like it's all stuff that they've looted from merchants and it's you know it's all the the loot that they've gained from a variety of raiding and stuff over the years there's a golden holy symbol of Saren Ray which you suspect they actually probably uh, stole from the town there's a jade necklace there's a fine blue silk gown that's only partially torn mm. okay well give that holy symbol to um does the it? monk <laughs> wow. uh <clears throat> it's just mm. treasure Oh, okay. Burl looks well, at Hold also, on to all also, this. Also, right, monks aren't religious. You're right. A paladin <laughs> would be or something. Yeah. Okay. So we just hold on to all this treasure. Wait a second here. What? Burl looks at the uh, the emerald yeah. dress. Yeah. The, the the blue silk gown. Does he think it'll fit him? <laughs> I don't think so. It, How tall is the gown? For, it's made for a human. Remember, these are stuff they stole from. Oh, like, it's yeah, but it's a, ripped. No. Can he just rip the bottom of it? Burl puts put it, it on. It looks like yeah. a little kid in a nighty. That's like all the way past Can you just rip the bottom of it? A Saren Ray symbol, a necklace, and a blue gown. You find a, a, a golden holy symbol of Saren Ray, a jade necklace, and a blue silk gown. Okay. And you also find assorted malachites. Malachite's a type of green gemstone. It's not a precious gemstone. It's a semi-precious gemstone. You Think, got all the score? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Need to say, it, not, it's not worth anything but you could sell it. You know what I mean? If mm -hmm. you find like a jeweler or if you find someone who deals in fine arts and stuff, if you get it to town or something like that, you could sell all that stuff for, for gold and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, anyone have craft? You have craft. I do. I'm Make a craft. bigger than crafting. Make a craft, Jack. Yes. Uh, that's a 16. You estimate that all total, if you could find the right buyers, you might be able to get another 50, 60 gold just from this stuff. Ooh. All right. Parenthesis, 50, 60 gold. <laughs> 50 dash. 60. All right. So... We're going to end it there. Yes. The uh, Rip Nugget is slain. Should we decide about health and stuff before we even start next session? Well, hold on one second. Okay. Rip Nugget is slain, and the group now prepares to descend below Thistletop in order to uh, attack Nualia. The choice before them is, do they want you to keep pressing forward, mm. or do they take this stunning victory, return to town, regather their strength, and then return the next day to continue pressuring the assault and date down in the dungeon. So that's going to be the decision that's going to be before them. The advantage of pressing forward is you guys, I haven't made any changes to like their defenses. They've been kept on their back feet. Yep. The disadvantage is spells, you know, resolve mm -hmm. all, you know, hit points, uh, all might be running low. So that's, we can, a, that's, we, a, that's a strategic conversation yeah. that they'll have next time. That's yes. what we'll start with the session is. And next episode is going to be a doozy. We'll probably end up splitting it up into two or maybe even three episodes, potentially, because, uh, again, we're going to have in-person. Everyone's going to be here. And <laughs> we're going to- Episode two slash three, Aziz will be- Really drunk, yeah, uh, and uh, you know we'll really, we'll really. Uh, oh, the other advantage too is if it does take some time, not like minutes, but like hours. If you go back to town, you also might have the ability to put that striking rune onto one of your weapons, and that's a big damage increase. And the potency rune could 
theoretically go on like your day. Or you could, or in theory, events. or you could sell it. How much time? Oh, we got to find the time because I, why don't I understand why we couldn't do it here? Because again, it takes time. Yeah. Uh, but how much time? Again, That's what to find out. I'm trying to end the session. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys in the Discord to hey, talk about watch, this. Watch this. Watch this. Are we watching? I'm going to cut to everybody. Raise your hand if you have a job and you have to go to work tomorrow. I'm raising my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's a few of us. I don't. Yeah. So I don't care. We can stay here till no, midnight. No, 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 no. I, I gotta care. go to work tomorrow. Raise, raise your hand if you have a wife. We'll, and see kids. you guys on the Discord. <laughs> see you guys in the Discord. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep, we're gonna uh, pick it up next time uh, with the part level four party going into the Thistletop dungeons to try to finally destroy Nualia. And since we're gonna have an oh, extra yeah. long session, uh, we should be able to get it wrapped up, and we're gonna be able to kind of put everybody down and. Uh, uh, you know, get the group, get the group with through the first adventure, burnt offerings, and we'll be into the next one. So, for all of us here at the Knights of Last Call, I'm Derek Melinda, saying thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, please comment. Um, I, I, I'm I'm willing to have a conversation with anybody. So if, if there's anything that you actually a knowledgeable see, conversation, yeah, too. if you want to, if you just want to talk, pick his brain. If you just want to talk gaming, just put it in the comments below. You know, we'll bring it up. We'll we'll maybe I'll do a video about it. I've been doing this for a long time, so I, I have lots of uh, advice yeah, to 30 give. Thirty years, yeah, 30, thirty years, so which is crazy. He knows some stuff. Waiting for that uh, history of D and D episode. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. That. Yeah, if you want to see if you want to see a history of D and D episode, you, I do. You let me know. I'll, yeah, us three will comment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. maybe, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get maybe we'll get fifteen views on that one. Yeah. All right, guys. Th thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. <laughs>